Called the Hog Champ. Where's the Hog Champ at? Why do we have Pog Champ and no Hog Champ? Kind of has a little bit of an announcement. Wakes a perfect diet, physique, and routine. He wants to be transparent. <laughs> He's been unfaithful. Stupid fucking. What? What are you sending me? What is that? What? Is that from Atrioc? Is that what Atrioc said? Or am I just mis mi mixing up the mistakes? Who did that? Who did the stupid fucking mistakes? What's that from? Show him the clip. Okay, yeah. If there's a clip, I need to see it. If there's a clip, I want to see it bad. In fact, I'd argue you have a fucking responsibility to show me it. It's from the doc? Oh... Is this when he cheated on his wife? Really? He dropped the st video where he said stupid fucking mistakes. I always have to wonder when people make like public apologies for cheating. Do you think it's like their partner that's like you better fucking tell them? Because like I don't know how to say this but I feel like the character Dr. Disrespect and the concept of infidelity that's like peanut butter and jelly. You know? Like, whether or not the dude who plays the doc cheats, the doc? The doc can't be tied down. That dude's fucking eight models in a cigarette boat. Sun up to sundown, man. That dude's, uh... Oh, fuck. Hold on. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. What? What's the video? Send me the full thing. What in the fuck is that? Why? Look at this. I want you to fuck my wife. Stupid man cost. This is such a dated meme. God, I know nothing. What in the fuck is this? Wait, hold on. Fucking mistakes, man. What in the fuck are these things? That's a child. That's a child with huge tits. This is just a double child. That's a child with huge tits. That's a child. These are two the the, the seemingly adult men. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. And this is a fucking winner. What in the fuck is this meme, man? Stupid fucking mistakes, man. <laughs> Does someone have, like, the whole show? Can someone send me the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. Here. <laughs> the title. <laughs> Is this on fucking the hub, man? <laughs> Look, man, I mean, if you're going to talk about Dr. Disrespect, I don't think anyone is being as disrespectful as he is when he's cheating on his wife. I, did she not know what she was getting into? He's he, he he that's that's his thing, man. It's in the title. Yeah, what's gonna happen with this chat here, man? They gotta lose it. Yo, hey, I'm glad you guys like the stream. Hey guys. Uh <clears throat> what? 
What the fuck, man? Kind of have a, a little bit of a little bit of an announcement. Um, Shit. I just want to be completely transparent with you guys. This dude's fucking hot, though. A quick aside. Uh, <laughs> as you guys know, I have a, a beautiful loyalty. <laughs> All the juxtaposition, man. Dude's name is Dr. Disrespect. First and foremost, just fucking hysterical to me. That Yeah, of course. What'd you expect Dr. Disrespect to do? He's got to cheat on his wife. That's his thing. He's got, he has a fucking high profile. He's got a low profile fucking matte black cigarette boat that doubles as a submarine. And he's just harboring, uh, you know, concubines on it, man. Just banging it out. Full family and a wife and kid. And I just want to be completely transparent with you guys. Uh, uh, what happened? As you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and yep. a wife and kid. Put and, on sub only mode? It must have. Um, I want to be transparent that I've been on chase. So Yo, thank you so much, Neo. Do you think, like, his. Very legitimately, and I don't say this to be patronizing. Do you think that, like, why? Why do you think he had to do this? And it had to have been the wife, and because this kind of feels like something that should just be dealt with privately. Like, like, it's not like he fucked up on stream, and it's not like it was a crime. I mean, it's it's bad. Info got out? Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and I'm probably going to be taking some time away, t time off, to focus on... Well, especially, like, for him in particular. Like, I'd get it if it was, like, a super parasocial thing where, like, he was very publicly with someone, and, like, he had, he was representing himself, but he's such a character. It's like... You know, like, if James Bond, if, like, Sean Connery cheated on his wife, I wouldn't expect him to, like, go live as James Bond and be like, I'm sorry, but James Bond has cheated on his wife. You know what I mean? Me is play like, it, it, there are just so many layers of it. If they were right, there were rumors. Ah, I see. I see. Interesting. Was it, like, internal then? Yeah, it's strange seeing this dude out of character. Um... Character's great, though. It's got to be tough, man. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. I'm going to take time off to focus on my family and... Get banned from Twitch. And so... <laughs> and I just did. wanted to let you guys know that. And I apologize to you guys. And <sighs> Daddy, you guys are... They got to roll down the... Roll back the Slick Daddy thing. Wait, it happened on stream? Wait, what? Wait, are you saying he cheated on someone on stream? Wait, I'm so fucking confused, dude. How much do I weigh right now? I weigh like 200. Wait, what? No, she said it on stream? Oh. Yeah. Fucking people are so dumb. I just like ugh. Yeah, 200 kilograms, dog. What is this? Honestly, you know, as a fan of football, you love to see it as someone with millions of dollars on the line, you want to call your ex-wife and weep. It's a tough it, 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 a lot of conflicting feelings here as we really enter crunch time. Who has what it takes? Are you gonna Are you gonna need a break after this week? Is everything gonna be okay? I'm Russell. Can you shut the fuck up and watch the game? <laughs> all righty, all righty. I'm just asking. All right, we got Austin in the backfield here. We got a lot of people on the left side. Honestly, I'm Russell. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> it's like the shut the fuck up, Grayson.
Can I even find that if I look it up from soda? I don't even know if we can. Would you should no, okay. Fuck, I wish we could. Stupid fucking mistakes. In the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! Stupid fucking mistakes, man. <laughs> That's so, this is so fucked up, man. <clears throat> it really is fucked I up. I apologize to you guys, my sponsors in Twitch. And this is not, this is not who I am. It's, it's not what I represent. And. Dude, you quite literally represent disrespect. <laughs> it couldn't be more on brand. I don't know where you're going with that. You, as not Dr. Disrespect, maybe, your character is absolutely banging as many supermodels as he can fit on his cigarette boat, dude. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> you, like, that is exactly what you represent. What's, the, like, all the memes, he's like, he's like, the peak, peak, like, peak virility, you know, the best a man can get. Like, it's all about, like, 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 it's all about being the man. And, like, like, in the most machismo 80s action flick kind of way, that, that is absolutely about, about cheating on your wife. A big part of Dr. Disrespect's life before fame included his beautiful wife, who goes by the code name of Mrs. Assassin on his streams. While she chooses to keep most aspects of her life private, a few key things have been... Stupid fucking mistakes, man. <laughs> Revealed about the woman behind the duck. No, 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 no! <laughs> Violence, speed, momentum, disrespect. Cheating is really not who I am. <laughs> That's exactly what you are! That's your whole shtick! Speed from one girl to the next, momentum into your next relationship, the disrespect that that's you, that's you. Back in 2017, the doc went online and out of costume to announce that he'd be taking a break from streaming. Dude's a tank, though. You know what? All things considered, while I don't think it was necessary for him to own up to it, unless it was something that like really had to be addressed, you know, um, I mean, at least publicly, um, good thing to do. Good thing to be transparent about your fuck ups. Try to grow from them. But like, it's just odd with someone who's so like routinely and eternally in character. You know what I mean? In his broadcast, he admitted that he'd been unfaithful in his marriage. I want to be trans. That dude is the longest body I've ever seen. That's like a very long body, like a long torso. Faithful in his marriage. I want to be transparent that yeah, I've been on faith that. faithful. And I'm probably going to be taking some time away. Well, many people would have ended things that- Did you bust after the hamburger? Dude, should we go over the hamburger stuff before we get into this disrespect lore? I was enjoying my memes, but um, we should we should go over it. I resulted in me being unable to hear the word transparent without thinking of Doc cheating on his wife. All right, the burgers, straight up, fucking, I mean, the first one was remarkably fucking mediocre, but, like, all in all, pretty, did, did we get, we got an LSF, right? Let's look at it. Full bulk weight coming back. <laughs> Wake wider, dude. Hold on. Let's get a photo of full bulk wake here. Where's he at? Did you the burgers destroy your gut? Honestly, no, man. Friends like we are. Not at all. It was super, super, I mean, like, I think I've done, oh, fucking, dude, they always make you log in. I don't want to log into my fucking Instagram. God damn it. Oh, well, I guess we, we aren't looking at full bulk wake today. That's fine. Um, Dude, I was a wide boy. I don't think I'd hate it, though, again. Like, one day I will. You just had two small bites. Well, that's the thing, was that in my brain, a big thing for me is that when I really cheat on my diet, I want to, like, build it up a little bit. Like, I kind of want it to be a stream. You know what I mean? Like, like a big stream. I want to, like, have Nick, like, 
make me eat like him for a day. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I want. Like, because, like, small squirrel bites, I took a good bite. I took a good bite. But I want I want Nick to, like, fuck me up with it, you know? Like, I don't just want to have... And also, here's another thing. I thought I was going to get a ton, a ton of different burgers. I didn't know we were only going to go to two. Thank Holy you so shit, Prawn! Thank you for the fucking 20! With the long dong! Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Am I being transparent right now? Stupid fucking mistakes, man. Um, he ran out of time. Fucking right he did, dude. No one else was alive. We could have just coasted. I finished, and I was like, dude, maybe I'll be a fucking noon streamer. I looked. No one's live until, like, 4 p.m., dude. Just fucking no one. Just like fucking no one, dude. Um, but I thought we were gonna get a, a, a few. Um, I thought we were gonna get a few other options. So I was just taking like one bite at a time because I thought honestly I was gonna get like six burgers. Like I straight up thought we were gonna go to six burgers, and I was gonna fucking over the course of the, the, the six burgers eat like one full burger. So I was trying to pace myself because I didn't know how long, how far we were gonna go. Oh, thank you. Hold on. Dude, let's look at full bulk wake. Bergs looks like they fucked him up a bit. Oh, on Nick? Poor plan, screwing the whole stream. I thought we were going to have a lot more, to be fair. So I was, like, preparing to really be eating. You know what I mean? Dude, full bulk wake. What the fuck? Load. Load, you motherfucker. Um, The full bulk. Heavy duty, big diesel, the 260, the four time. Watch time to camp computer on YouTube inspired me. Yo, hey, thank you so much, man, to get serious and commit to improving my health. Hey, I'm so glad I could be of any value, dude. And thank you so much for all that love. That means a lot, man. Wake wider. Look at the width. Look at the white screen. How lean would you say you are now? I'm pretty lean. Probably like 10 to 12% body fat. Um, Any tips for pushing through a plateau? Eat more. It's really the only thing. I just like, dude, You it, this doesn't even do it justice. My face gets so fucking thick. This doesn't even service how thick my face gets, man. It gets fucking meaty. Yeah, dude, my legs were big. I was a big old boy. Um... Where's, like, a fucking fat face wake photo? That's what I want to find. I don't know if it's even there. There, I was, like, 250. Actually, it might have been, like, 240 there. My peak weight was 260, though. But I don't know if I have any photos. Yeah. If you see any clip from a couple of years ago, my face is ballooned. I was a, But also, like, I was eating, like, shit. So there's a ton of water retention there. Um, But I saw, like, hold on. Let's go on LSF. I saw, like, a comment that was, like, dude's harboring an eating disorder, and I kind of want to address that. Where was it? Because I do think that's important to talk about. Um, Where was it? Oh, yeah, he said, man's fostering an eating disorder. It ain't that big of a deal. When he did the burger review on Mrs. Stream a while back, he was taking bites and spitting them out. Okay, so big thing to address here. Back when Tectone and I did that and I was spitting out the food, there was kind of two prong. So an interesting thing about Old Wake Wilder chat, scrolling down LSF. Um, an interesting thing about Old Wake Wilder here is that I've got... Um, so I have really bad OCD. So I have, like, a lot of rituals, especially around food, um, ritual in general, that I become really, like, adamantly, um, like, like bound to. You know what I mean? Um, I've thought about you when you talk about your... Yeah. Uh, so I have really bad OCD. Um, and everything, to me, is more so about ritual, not in, like, a sense of, like, I have uh, an unhealthy relationship with my body, right? A lot of it's about my brain and how I feel when I eat food that's deviating from what I most, like, like let's say, like, most, like, routinely consume. So I'm, I'm really adamant about, like, performance input-output assessment 
and it kind of fucks my whole life up. Um, but I, I work with this with a therapist and like, I've got a lot of good like rituals. Uh, actually what I did today was essentially like fear exposure therapy of me being like, I can deviate from routine and be okay. I can wake up at 10. I can go and I can eat something that I don't typically eat and still in every way be just as fine later that day as I was then. And that's like important for me to do routinely as someone who like has pretty unrelenting OCD at that. So when it came to like me not eating like the whole burger, um, one, the big deal to me was that I didn't know how many burgers I would be consuming, but like I, I fully intended to go and consume food. Um, but um, I also have like really like hyper obsessive um like evaluations of performance and i always try to create trial and error or not trial and error but like uh causal relationships between how good i feel that day and what i've done throughout the day so small things like i took a nap here or i ate my food then or i use this protein powder and sometimes this can get incredibly um convoluted and restrictive so i have to break myself out of it every now and then but they're not wrong like sometimes they do that however when it came to um like the stream on tectone stream um when i did that the whole concept of me doing that on tectone stream was like it was straight out of camp canute and i was kind of still memeing like the super discipline um and i did have a very difficult time no i drink a lot of different stuff man i drink uh coke zero and uh coffee and I, 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 the beverages, I have a lot of things that I've like pre-vetted essentially, but it's kind of like more of a contamination thing. I think of food more in terms of how it affects my psychological throughput and my cognitive throughput. So like how valid I feel in those regards, you know what I mean? Waking this entire chat is so beautiful and perfectly imperfect beyond magical. Hey, thank you so much, Jojo. I appreciate all that love. Um, so that is something I do struggle with, like very transparently. And I've worked like my whole life to, um, you know, better navigate those obsessions. Um, do you drink coffee black or is there a near zero calorie creamer? No, I just like black coffee. I've been doing it for a while. Um, but again, I also like very legitimately, I just feel better when I don't eat like two fucking burgers and starting my day, I don't exactly want to, um, let's say like, uh, ensnare the rest of my day into like two really greasy burgers that make me feel like dog shit when like, if it was at the end of my day, I probably would have eaten a full burger, but I still have to go train. I have to get back home. I have to, you know, um... I, I did like a bunch of cleaning. You can't tell, but I was like clearing out some old boxes, moving my way into something else. Um, yo, put up McDee's. I'm the same way with rituals. I feel like I need to redo certain things if I don't do it right. Yes. Um, I, I can be really, re it can be really punitive and, and, and fucky. And, um, it's like the, the best I can do is like continue to try, especially like publicly. So just know, like I don't have like a disordered relationship with food. I have a disordered relationship with ritual and I make ritual out of food. Um, as well as I do many, many other things, um, like, uh, media I consume, etc. So I'm really obsessive about like, can I watch this and still have like these ideas? Uh, you know, can I watch this or read this without it? Like in a way, like kind of contaminating, my capacity to uh, perform in these contexts or deliver valuable insights in these contexts. And it's something that I actively work you through. Um, but it's friends, the same like reason why I always platform this. Like, guys, I don't start, I eat like fucking 3,000 calories a day. I eat a lot of food. Um, and when it comes to what I do with my uh, food selection, yes, it can be a bit obsessive. And that's something that I'm working with over time to confront more directly, especially in the face of streaming. Um, I noticed that my OCD actually really flared up through streaming because streaming is performance, right? So like as a streamer every day, I am performing wake. And because of that, I have direct, like numerical feedback as to how well I performed awake. And so I started to create a lot of really convoluted and like self-flagellating rituals over time because I was like, oh, I did all this shit, so I should feel good enough today to be the best wake, you know? And then I would augment that. It, it was super fucked up. You know what I mean? Um, uh, about rituals can be a good thing too. I, it's not so much. I mean, you can. The thing is that the same reason why I tell people to uh, focus more on like calories in, calories out and not obsess over like granular food selections because it doesn't necessarily make me feel good. Yeah, I used to do intermittent fasting a lot and that was a super fucked up point of, of obsession for me and I'm glad I don't do that anymore. Um, healthy lifestyle, you don't enjoy junk food anymore. I stopped uh, drinking and smoking when I got serious with my training. I actually like it fine. Um, but um, no, I'm not, uh, I, I eat a lot of food. Um, I'm super balanced in what it is I consume. Um, I just don't eat like out much. Um, and fried food makes me feel 
relatively like uh, a lot of it has to do with like I was kind of unpacking this to be honest with you man like I've always felt as if there was an expectation for me to perform uh, exceptionally and um, because of that I developed a lot of anxieties around performance in any capacity because it never felt as if, uh, you know, I was allowed trial and error. It's part of why streaming really called to me is that it's an active process of trial and error. Um, and there was no expectation of exceptional throughput, you know? Um, and because of that, um, I've enjoyed this, but it's also created a really weird relationship to like being wake because now every day I'm like, how do I do wake? Well, not just like, how do I have fun? You know, it's like, how do I be like really fucking, how do I fucking dazzle them with wake? And that's a fucked up way to think. So lately what I've been trying to do is start to think about, um, frankly, a fuck you guys has kind of been my brain, uh, in the most loving of ways. I've tried to tell myself that, um, the only reason I care about whether or not I'm doing a good job at being me is because it has some, there's there's direct feedback and implications on my success and the implications on my success and my relationship to success as being a metric for, um, let's call it like validity as a human is the problem, right? So now like my, my, a lot of what I've been trying to confront like in therapy and even just with my stream is like, how do I just like, if I don't care about how well I perform wake to you, um, I don't care about any of these rituals that become restrictive. You know what I mean? Um, and that has been one of the more freeing revelations is that um, this all comes down to like, I want to be told that I'm fulfilling um, my potential in a way. Um, and um, what the fuck even is that? <laughs> you know, like, am I happy trying to fulfill that potential? What is potential? You know, that just seems totally fucking arbitrary, you know, to assess how good someone could be at something, you know? There are just so many things augmenting that. And um, the best thing I can do is try to be as fulfilled and, uh, you know, inquiring and uninhibited as possible, right? And so I'm trying to focus back on that, focus less on, like, did I dazzle you today? And, and just try to be the most transparent, engaged, and curious version of myself that I can be, because that's the person I like being. And when I'm at my best, that's how I feel. Did you see your VIP prove himself at the Twitch Lore Masters on Miz's stream today? Wait, who's my VIP? Who proved himself? What happened? No? Naxip TV, that guy's a VIP in my channel. That must have been a he must have won marbles. I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know his name enough. Hold on. Slash user. I feel like that guy Naxip TV. Oh man. Hold on. He does chat though. Homie chats. Hold on. Let's look. Oh, I almost banned him. That would have been bad. He's also Miz VIP in a Discord mod. Okay, you know what? This guy pops in like every week or so. That works. Okay, homie's killing it. Homie's killing it. I'm in. He literally knew everything about Miz. Oh, boy. Well, you know, he's got no flags, so we're good. Homie chats. <laughs> Do you ever feel conflicted with your goal uh, in a, as an aesthetic physique, but then hate being objective? No, my goal isn't an aesthetic physique at all anymore um i and i don't really like i don't really feel objectified ever um i feel pretty like i work to have i think like you know the healthiest most capable body i can have and to progress in ways that feel like grounded to me and um yeah i don't even think i have like the best body or anything like I, I try to keep myself lean because i feel healthier when i'm lean that's really about it and then when it comes to like being objectified i mean like you know how objectified can i really feel you know i think the only way i've ever felt objectified isn't really even objectified sometimes i felt uh reduced what motivated you to get a nose piercing um frankly uh i just wanted another reason for people to dislike me um have you tried powerlifting training? When I was younger, but I don't care much for it, man. Um, closer to a podcast than a lot of other streams. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, Camp Canute to win. Uh, back in time. We're going to have to build a time machine and go there. Um, it's going to be in 1827. We're going to invent weightlifting. Do you feel like one and a half years of eating clean wasn't worth the small amount of fat? Dude, no. What? That didn't do anything to me. Guys, do not obsess over dietary selection like I do. I do it to appease like a literal, like, like, like diagnosed psychological obsession. Um, like I have OCD, it's a matter of ritual and I am trying to break it over time. So don't worry about it. All right. 
Um, but one of the things I want you guys to know is that those things are totally okay to do. So I've had in my ritual burgers before, by the way. Like, I used to have a burger once every week. I was saying that on stream. Up until, like, Camp Canute, essentially. But Camp Canute went so well, and I stopped eating burgers during Camp Canute, that I was like, I can't change a single fucking thing about what I'm doing. Because, frankly, I think that I've always seen myself as being somewhat invalid. And I don't say that to get, like, cool, like, pity messages. Like, I know that I'm pretty good at my job, and people like what I do, and that that's not it, right? But, like, throughout a lot of my life, I've always felt as if... um I was unworthy or invalid in some way, you know, or like just behind where it is I really wanted to be. And because of that, all of my successes were never a consequence of, let's say, uh, my ability, right? But rather, over the course of time, they were all like <sighs> a confluence of like environmental factors or rituals or routines. Like nothing was like, oh, I'm good enough to be in this room or be doing this thing. It was always like, I'm only here because... I did all of this. I only drank water uh, on these days. And, um, you know, I, I do X or Y with my diet. And um, I uh, don't breathe in when I go through doorways. You know, like, I create all these weird, um, like, let's call them, like, um, compulsions that I have to satisfy to feel like I am um, going to be enough for whatever endeavor I have planned for that day. It's not good. OCD is very bad, and mine is rampant, and I create obsession and ritual out of everything in my life. Um, and food is definitely a place where it 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 it, it concentrates. But um, no, uh, I don't have um, kind of like a sports person has crazy superstitions. Yes, I do that as well. That's exactly that's kind of how it started, really. Um, no, this is my right hand. Um, stretch of two years where I drank only water, but then one day I had Pepsi. <laughs> What's my go-to breakfast? I do cream of rice with, um, so my go-to breakfast is cream of rice with, uh, whey protein isolate and peanut butter. Um, well, walking through doorways isn't normal. I don't know. I don't know if it is. A little OCD can be a good influence. I disagree. Um, yes, I, 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 so I was diagnosed with OCD and prescribed, um, Prozac for it. And it was actually really effective. Um, but I would rather learn via, like it almost neutralized it, right? But I'd rather learn via fear exposure therapy how to really overcome a lot of these obsessions because it helped me get closer to the actual root of the issue, which was that um, I had a sort of like, let's say like, it was like an internalized sense of ineptitude or undeservedness that I had to really confront, you know? Um, which was weird because, like, I, I, I really try not to make myself um, tethered to public opinion, you know? And uh, it wasn't really a thing prior to. Um, it's a weird thing. Fear of, fear of accomplishments, definitely an odd thing that I resonate with, for sure. Um, but once I once anything would work in my life, I think that I just felt as if the actual success wasn't uh, attributable to me but instead some kind of weird, like, you know, divine intervention or, like, selection that was, like, <laughs> I did everything right that day, and so good things happened, right? Um, and so I became obsessive, and over time, you know, and I, I, I learned through, you know, like, proper, like, you know, uh, cognitive behavioral therapy and, like, you know, like, retrospection, right, that I was like, oh, I've been doing this shit since I was, like, seven, you know what I mean? Um... <laughs> Imposters are here to ruin your fun. Hey, what up, baby? Um, good to see you, Riley. Uh, hate to tell you, bud, that's OCD. Yeah, that's a little bit OCD, man. Um, but it helped me a good deal. And also, like, you don't have to pathologize it. I think a lot of us have weird ritual. Um, it's not unique unto, like, you, you don't have to fucking pathologize it if you experience symptoms of it. Um, for me, it gets in the way of me and living, like, a full life. It was probably at my best, but honestly, this is kind of what I've come to recognize. And this is true of a lot of, uh, you know, mental illness is that, um, you know, like, just just be happy. If you're happy, you won't be sad. And if you're... <laughs> um, in a weird and fucked up way, though, the more focused I am on, like, the tasks before me and the community I'm engaged in, um, the um, less time I dedicate to those obsessions, those ruminations, etc. And so trying to stay as busy as possible has been essentially how I've staved those off. Um, for instance, like during Camp Canute, I didn't have any obsessions. After Camp Canute, 
I tried to replicate everything I was doing throughout Camp Canute so that I could stay what I felt as though was on my game. But the reality was I was doing so well at the time because I was so un like like irrevocably present, you know? Like I was hanging out with friends every day, I was communicating truthfully to an audience and like felt as if I had a purpose. And that is why I felt so good, not because um, you know, I only ate cream of rice for like three of my five meals and I drank two gallons of water and, um, you know, I, uh, edged for four hours a day before eating, you know, ground pebbles, you know, um, none of that really mattered at the time, you know, um, wait, hold on. What is this? Wake wider dog. Oh. <laughs> Yo, D vicious. <laughs> oh, we have two wake widers. Fuck. I didn't know that. I forgot Raph made wake wider. They're both good. Shit. Click on more and rename. What should we What should we name this though? Let's just keep them both. Fuck it. I'm a new account. Um, losing weight. I've lost ten pounds so far. Goal is forty. Thanks for yo. Hey, thank you for the kind words, man. Um, guys, as with anything like weight loss or otherwise, think about like really. And, and this could go to like learning guitar. Um, you know, reading a book, anything. Like start with small, measurable like a efforts that you can codify into habit over time. Right, like. Habit is the name of the game. If you can build habit, anything's possible. And I, I, I mean, not anything. I mean, like, there are going to be some things you're just shit at, you know? Like, um, you will uh, never get a girlfriend. Um, you'll never have real friends. You'll never have sex. Thank you so much. Um, Can't wait to see you as the mascot of McDonald in a year from now. Thank you, Ducky. So just remember all those things. You won't do any of that. But, um... <laughs> Uh, what I do really mean is that uh, truly at the core of it all, you can, um, if you can build a habit, you can, you can, you can actually like, like, like mobilize change, right? Um, but the habit must come first. So start with something that you can replicate every day, right? Like if it's a five minute walk and like, let's say like you, you swap like full sugar sodas out for diet soda, that in and of itself is going to shed weight for you. And then when your weight loss starts stalling, add another five minutes to that walk. When you start getting to like 15 minutes, let's start focusing on the diet. Start measuring our food, trying to get a higher protein intake in for satiety, etc. And that stuff will help. Have you seen this Senna clip? No, let me see it. The fuck is this? What in the fuck is <laughs> Senna? <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to try to ride him. I'm not going to try to ride him. <laughs> it's music to my ears, baby. Call that a dub. I call it a dub. Would you call it a dub? I call it a dub. Would you call it a dub? It's easy. It's easy. I don't know what you call that, but it's a dub. What up, Sojo? What? What up, Sojo? Oh, my God. What a dub. What a freaking dub. Sorry, Lino. I tried to ride him, but. Okay, hold on. I'll fix it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm... Uh... Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh. <sighs> No, but seriously, how do I block this chick? <laughs>
How am I not following Imaru? I'm following Imaru. Oh, wait, it's a joke because that's Senna. Yeah, I got it. All right, fine. I'll refollow her. I'll refollow her, all right? Call it. <laughs> What's my problem? Wait, hold on. What was? What were all the problems I could report her for? Wait, this is funny. What, 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 what could I actually do? Report channel. Clip. What happens if I hit that, though? Is this going to... Do I get to... Hold on. Is this is this gonna send one or do you get like a list of options after? Wake, please add this emote. Hold on. Oh God, how are there already so many people with this added? What the fuck is this? Wait, this thing was created on April sixth. That was yesterday. <laughs> Hold on, I was thinking March. Okay. I'm sorry, that was stupid. What the fuck was I thinking? Miz uh, did farm this. Fuck, dude. I think I'm going to delete all my clips. I don't think I have anything like this, but I don't I don't want to find out. <laughs> Can someone send me... Yeah, I, I just started having fun on stream, like, a week ago, all right? <laughs> I don't have anything like this. How much fun I've had streaming, um, well, until, like, last week zero. Um, call me. I can give you some clips. Wait, do you have clips? <laughs> oh, God, OG. Uh, crazy, I only been here a week. Good, you came for the good stuff, all right? We just figured out how to do this. We just figured out this. Oh, wait, hold on. Are you being Sneeko right now? Um, does anyone else remember the Possessed Girl and Exorcist was moving? This is so weird. Yeah, this is like spine breaking. So like, can someone send me the actual clip? Oh my God, this thing's trending. You have not streamed before today? I'll tell you what, man. My legitimate fun with streaming started on uh, on, on game day football. That was like the beginning of me being like, oh, I can make jokes and people like that more than me screaming at incels. And then fucking Nick brings me on his stream where we're just like having fun and making jokes. And he's like, so what do you think of that Tate guy? Fuck. All right. Now, now I have to fucking, I have to hunker in because like I'm not going to give like a half-baked fucking take. I can't not like... I'm not, I can't sit that fence. How he found a fence to sit on there is insane. Especially considering there are no boundaries when it comes to Tate. There's no delineation of where you should or shouldn't go. It's just a fucking Sodom Gomorrah fucking free-for-all. The fact that he found a way to, to, to even sit on a fence. He had to build a fence to sit on. Most people liked your response. Most? Oh, shit. Yes. What else did they have to say? What in the fuck is... <laughs> he knew that would bring you out? No, but that's the problem is that I actually avoided it. Has shown that taking that route in streaming causes mental health problems 100% of the time? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I agree. No, like, like the real issue... I mean, dude, you can, like, look at the dude's Twitter... Like, hold on, I should not open Twitter on stream. I'm not stupid. See, that feels just, like, a little inconsiderate to say, like... Hold on. I followed when you made me laugh this morning. Always enjoyed doing the OTK streams, but this morning was the time where I just... Hey, thanks, man. Um, Good for me for acknowledging that. Wait, acknowledging what? The fence? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. Uh... So, oh, wait, I was looking up NMP. That's not what I wanted to do. So if you go to Andrew Tate's Twitter, it's like the reason to not like him is insane. Like, like there are so many reasons to be like, oh, maybe we shouldn't fucking, like, I don't know. Like, just, like, look at some of this shit. Like, nothing he says is like, like, this shit, people are going to be like, ah, this might make sense because it's just fucking word salad. It's motivation. It's like a bunch of motivational speeches, like, put in a blender, right? Truly imagine what this person even looks like. His physical composition... Oh, wait, no, he's just being... Wait, his physical composition? His soft hands and skinny legs. Imagine how he would react to a trials and tests. Is this guy literate? How small a tribulation would birth a breakdown? 
formulate the person in your mind you need struggle? That is insane. That makes no fucking sense. Imagine the physical composition of a man who's never suffered, never faced adversity. Imagine the mental composition of a man who's never failed and then won. Imagine a man who's never once suffered. Thank God for endless battles they build. You see, that one makes more sense. This one was fucking weird. But, like, people will be that and be like, yeah, hey, struggles are good. We need that. You know? And then he'll, like, write some weird shit. Every man's dream is a baddie with no Insta. Why can't women have social media now, Andrew? That's your whole shtick. It's like you want to you want to fucking isolate a woman in a hole you dug yourself. And then Nick built a fence over it. <laughs> yeah, like, it doesn't make sense. I don't care how beautiful she is. Can be a 25 out of 10. I don't care how perfect her picture is. I don't even slow down as I scroll. In fact, seeing any of these females repulses me. Truly immune to thirst traps. It's all a psyop, a mind attack. I couldn't give less of a fuck. See, any of these women, any of these females repulses you, Andrew? Repulses you? Like, like you see that shit is like radicalizing dudes against the girls at their high school who are just like posting selfies. Like everyone is. Because it's dumb. That's just what you, it's compulsory sharing, you know? It's alpha to be repulsed by, what? well, Liana, you got to remember, what's most alpha is uh, mastering the male form, you know? Really getting oiled up and, and showing another man just how potent, just how virile you are, you know? You got to pin him down. Maybe to oil up his front a little bit, you know? Look, listen, men can do anything better than women can. That's why Hustlers University has a six-week cocksucking lesson. Like, it's, it's a master class. Because no one... Look, anything you can do, I can do better. All right? <laughs> Including childbirth. And that's, that's half of Hustlers University, all right? <laughs> Show me a girl that can self-suck? Well put. I also think Tate's in the closet. I don't know. You know what I don't care about? I don't care that he's bald. I don't care if he's in the closet. All I care about is his fucking dog shit rhetoric designed entirely to inspire insecurity in young dudes who lack significant life experience. That's its whole... The whole gambit is to tell a bunch of young men, women don't want to fuck you, men don't respect you, and until you make all the money in the world, learn to kick any man's ass, and lead with conflict at every chance you get, you know, um... Women will never care about you. They'll never respect you. Guess what? You're not a model. You know, you're not six seven. So no one's going to fuck you unless you make a ton of money and learn how to fight and like, vanquish other men, you know? And so then he's like fucking vends this dog shit product where he just teaches you how to drop ship generically. You know what I mean? Trying to impregnate Nick on a stream today. Uh, answer for your disgusting crimes, Wick Wilder. No, I mean, I want to knock that dude up. Can you imagine a better pregnant person than Nick the whole time? Like, Nick would just be glowing. Oh, my God. Pregnant Nick. Not to, not to inspire a whole series of Rule 34. He'd be the happiest boy. Just play an Apex Legends. If men Legends. can do anything that women can do, but better, explain this clip where you can't even place an order at Starbucks link. Oh, I was just memeing that. I, I know what tall and grande are. But Nick ordered a medium, and I thought that was funny. Um, young boy birther. <laughs> Nick would eat so much because he ate more too. I could just see Nick grabbing someone's hand and putting it on his belly and be like, you feel that? It's how it was when he asked me to feel his belly when we were training, dude. Holy shit. Wait, can I even find that? I think maybe, hopefully it's in the YouTube video. He guided his hand, my hand to his belly like a pregnant woman. You have your game, Nick. I know, I know, I know they had to have gotten that on. You know, after yeah. That's always gonna touch that, was, that was not there. Come on, wait. Hands on it. How do we, how do I, how do I? I'll show you. <laughs> Tell me this man wasn't made to be pregnant. Look at how he's glowing. He's looking me right in the eyes as I marvel at the miracle of life he's incubating in his moomb, in his deuterus. His deuterus is plump. <laughs> He's glowing.
<laughs> That's two Mr. Beast burgers. You feel them kicking? Yeah. We don't know what we're gonna name them yet. Look at him. Uh, case I had really similar takes on Tate as Nick. How many videos did I record <laughs> in this shot? A lot, ladies. Brother, do you have a fucking what you call it? What's this? Wait, what? What? What did you do? Okay, Raf's got it. Um, where's where's the what's the thing here? Where does he talk about Tate? Do you have a timestamp? I, as I'm not gonna watch this much KSI. As someone who's never watched a video of him, I don't want today to. Be, oh wait, hold on. You're a really good friend. No, not even if you're a friend. You better, if you're my friend, you just can't be a pussy. Go ahead and hurt attack. Get the fuck up. And the most annoying. I'm dead. Oh, fuck off then. <laughs> you're no longer my friend. <laughs> yeah, you know, man, it's like I, I got a weird take on this, cause like. <sighs> Thank you so much. Yo, yo, yo. How's your hardcore on going? Happy five month anniversary, babe. BTW oh, Rat Earl Kiss. I wish I, I wish I was doing a hardcore run, man. But uh, sadly, we'd have, we had to uh, cut out World of Warcraft for a little bit so I could repair my channel from World of Warcraft. So for now, we're just cruising. But hey, what up, baby? It's good to see you, man. And welcome back in. Um, I know, I know. Um, my take is that, like, yeah, I think that Andrew Tate has plenty of agreeable, sensible takes, but I think his business model, and not even that, I think that they're just, like, really base, like, banal platitudes, you know? Like, be your best self, you know? Work as hard as you can, but, like, the problem is that be your best self involves, like, subjective, individualized inquiry, right? Like so he'll say that, but then he'll prescribe to you a very specific concept of what your best self should look like, and it's predicated on what he sells, right? What's the beginning? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not really down for the whole controlling a woman, but I do believe in a lot of the other stuff he says about... No, you can't do both, because that's the whole point. It's like he's like Trojan horsing radical misogyny into little dudes' minds, by providing them really basic insights on self-improvement that, like, you can get fucking anywhere, man. You can get a dude, like, in, in, in <laughs> fucking, you know, Tectone would give you the same takes on self-improvement. You know what I mean? This makes no sense. Hard work and having the right mindset, uh, et cetera. But, uh, anyway, uh, Andrew Tate, best moment. <laughs> Little electric, my little plug. Ooh, let me, let me get my and like he's fucking platforming it, man, because he's like, this will get a ton of views. Uh, this was eight months ago, though. That was a while ago. The dude is quite literally advocated, chat. And this is a really important caveat to find a woman. And this was, this was kind of difficult to say in the uh, in, in Nick's car. But he's like, find a woman who's like 18 years old that you can essentially mold in isolation into your perfect concubine. You know. Um, it's about stripping autonomy from women and, like, you know, essentially um, manipulating them into being, like, a house servant, right? Um, it, it, it's not a good thing. Um, his takes are detrimental because they inspire in a lot of young dudes contempt for women who are sexually autonomous or even just, like, individually ambitious in their own, uh, you know, particular arenas, a lot of contempt towards sex workers, seeing women as legitimate objects, etc., that I think is really difficult to reconcile with, um, or I don't, let's say this, I do not believe that it is an, uh, he's providing, like, a neutralizing benefit with these dog shit basic platitudes of, like, be your best self, Work hard. Everyone says shit like that. The problem is that you know, homie's like also telling you to manipulate like 18 year old girls into being someone you want them to be. You know? It's all about absolute control over women and human trafficking. Links are nailed in the coffin. Yeah, 100%. 100%.
And, like, the whole business model is inspiring. Like, essentially an individual who's, like, lived their whole life in isolation, man. Like, how can I... How can I get my message of, 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 it's so, it's kind of like doomer pilling a, a 14 year old dude who just got turned down from like, you know, uh, his homecoming dance, you know, you find a fucking 14 year old dude who just tried to ask out the cheerleader to, you know, go to homecoming with him. And she said no. And then his mind, he's like, oh, she only wants Chad cock. Um, and it's like, well, fucking yeah, man, like, right now, everyone's just performing their, uh, you know, perceived role. Like, not everyone has a very, like, well-considered worldview, you know? Everyone's just trying to do what they think is right or what's going to make them cool or well-liked. People aren't, they, they haven't lived enough life yet. You haven't lived enough life, life. You haven't tried. You're not even operating through the lens of, like, how do I find someone who reflects back to me the things I value most? You know what I mean? Um... Or just get bullied to hell if they actually tried to be entertained as a teen We get you stuffed in a locker? I don't know, man. I'm not a kid. You know, I don't know what they what they like anymore at this point, right? Um, uh, the real issue is that it's about how do I inspire or plant the seed of insecurity um, into into the minds of youth so that they then seek me as the antidote to said insecurity, right? Uh, came from exploiting voter women and skimming money off cam girls. Yes, a hundred percent. Um, you know, and so it's like you're never gonna be enough if you don't make a fuck ton of money. You know, um, what do I personally value? Uh, I think to me, the thing that I find to be most universally attractive in friends um, and in, in the opposite sex is uh, curiosity. I think that earnest curiosity and receptivity to the world are uh, two of the single most, uh, you know, um, salient attributes when it comes to the quality of one's character. Because uh, I think that wanting to know more and being open to new things uh, will, will make for a life well lived. Um, and so that's a big thing for me. Target's main insecurities of teens. Yeah, I mean, I was similar, man. When I was a kid, I was way into, like, like pickup culture stuff when I was, like, in high school. I was always trying to, like, read on how to, like, you know. And all these things are essentially built around how do you, like, convince either remarkably vapid women or, uh, like, 19-year-olds at nightclubs, right, to sleep with you. That's really what it is, you know? Like, running game, it's, it's – you can't prescribe a strategy for – making someone like you unless they are also operating under really predictive social calculus of like what someone of value is, you know? Um, it's really stupid. Um, like I remember like, uh, you know, like it puts you in a position of knowing a lot about how to navigate like really specific social pressures, but nothing that is, um, truly, let's say, earnest or or self-confronting or like you know fulfilling it's just like how do you go to a bar and like say all the things that women have been told uh they should be hearing in a man who's of value you know before people go through enough dog shit relationships and uh live to see what a legitimate point of connection looks like and just how personal it is you know how unique unto itself it is so a lot of it's like how can we um, tell a bunch of dudes that they don't have what it takes and that they'll never be enough so that we can sell them classes on how to be enough based on my value set, you know, which is this really reductive red pill adjacent, um, you know, um, you know, chauvinist d d rhetoric, right? It's super, it's super fucking dumb. You know much about the GameStop cult? No. You're also like not smart for doing it, right? But they say a bunch of shit. Like, I reserve the human right to hold my own beliefs and practice them as I see fit and allow all other people to do the same uh, right to believe and act as they wish. But, like, a lot of, like, what you did, and this is how he made most of his wealth, and this was something that was really prominent for a while prior to his big blow-up, was he would, like, sell classes on how to build a campsite and convince the women you know to work for you on the campsite. And that was how he was making all of his money, was selling that class on how to replicate his very specific business model. Like, it's fucking moronic. <laughs> what, this one's funny though? Ignore the construction, I'm rebuilding my mansion. You'll see when it's done, we'll do an episode of Cribs. I had to get this area here. I bought my neighbor's house. I had to construct a specific area for- I want to be like Mizkiff and manipulate 20-year-olds with fake lips and bobs. You think that's what Miz does? <laughs> Is that- 
Is that what you think's going on? Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah, we've talked a lot. You and I have gone back and forth about gambling before. Um, being able to take control of algorithms like this for any purpose is what scares me. I mean, look, man, it helps a lot to tell people how it is they can better navigate the algorithm themselves. And I know it hurts, but I was telling Nick this, man. You gotta fucking say not interested to some stuff. You're gonna see some big, beautiful, milky titties and some very, you know, powerful glutes and some hairy chests with rippling muscle and just, like, a lot of masculine guile, and you're gonna have to say no thank you. Um, go to not interested if you don't want to constantly be inundated with, with, with just, like, thirst traps. Because you will be, and, like, I do think it's counterproductive. Like, I don't get me wrong. Like, like it's nice to see titties, but... um when that's all your feed is giving you because you will engage with it more than you do other shit. You will. You know, I always hit not interested on thirst traps. Not because I think they're implicitly bad, but because they'll dominate my algorithm if I don't. I don't want to see it. And I don't know. You have to say no to big milky titties, man. You have to. It'll it, It'll continue to hypnotize you deeper and deeper into this into this trance-like state that you'll never escape, all right? <laughs> it's so hard not to. But I want it. I'm going to need a scientific explanation as to why you're such a giga chad. Because I'm not. I am not a giga chad. I think that it is. It is. I am not at all. I am a fucking dingus and a dweeb. And I like learning things and asking questions. And I try to confront my own ego wherever I can. Um, and I would not call myself that. All right. Um. <laughs> That's such a giga chat thing to say. I don't think so. Um When did a thousand people get here just chilling? People um what can I say? People uh people like me. Alright? I'm 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 very powerful here. You know what I mean? I'm very powerful. I'm very capable. Um, is humble. I don't, I don't know if I'm humble. I just think that like, I, I have a lot of self doubt and insecurity and I think it's better to avoid developing an ego and believe in, uh, and, and I would, I would be better off with more of an ego mind you, but I do have a sense of ego. I like to protect. Don't get me wrong. Like I do. I think Jerma is the best streamer on the platform. Like hands down. I, I think Jerma's fucking amazing. I met Jerma at the Streamer Awards, and he knew me, and I, uh, like, shit myself. I met him at a urinal. I met him at the urinal, actually, uh, discussing how I didn't understand urinal decorum to simply, and he just chimed in. And he was like, I'm just taking, like, this piss is just going. It's just still going. This has been, like, a three-minute piss, and I feel like a, th a third wave's about to come. And I was like... You know, we just kept memeing about urinal etiquette, you know? I was like, we should set up a podcast here, you know? Pissing and potting, and we'll just have a have a podcast while we pee, and, uh, you know, the podcast ends when we're done peeing. <laughs> and then, um, you know, later I introduced myself to him. Greatest conversations happened in urinals. I found the one person I never want to piss next to. No! No! That you're not supposed to talk. That is not how this works. The podcast. But anyways, that was the first time we'd ever talked, and then um after the streamer awards, he's talking with S fan, and I went and introduced myself. And then he just said, oh, I know. And then I was like, oh shit, does that mean Jerma's seen my dog shit streams? <laughs> Oh, fuck. I've not been putting enough effort in, man. This is not good. 
And then I started uh, working a little more to be funnier because I was uh, horrified of that. <laughs> and, um, you know, obviously we uh, we got out of the McDonald's playpen and... <laughs> Yeah, Drew must see my cock. I actually don't know that. Maybe he has. Oh, God. Did Drew watch my two-hour rant about meta-ethics? God. Or just watch me space out and play World of Warcraft. You know? Like, God. There's so much more. You know? There's so much more. Yeah, see, this is the shit. This is what's fucked up. There are important men and unimportant men. <laughs> it's like, these just aren't like the axioms you want to push, man. A man's value is built in the gym, in work, and in war. <laughs> they become valuable, powerful via effort. There's no such thing as an only man. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, man. I don't think that we should uh, deconstruct the concept of value and like ground it in like productivity like that, man. I just I think that it's gonna fuck a lot of young dudes up. Um, the concept of uh, you know the gym being the sole place in which you create value, or in war, it's like, dude, war is just fought for profit. Like, like name a good ideological war in the last fucking. I mean, so so few, so so few. It's fought for the profit of the people who wage it. You know, fucking in work. Like, what are we? Your value isn't in your labor, man. You can be a good dad. You can be a good friend. What matters is that you find something you love and you communicate, uh, you know, that love to as many people as you can. You know? The gym, I don't care if you ever step foot in a gym. I say this about Zach all the time because people always say, like, oh, you should take Asmongold to the gym. You need to take Asmongold to the gym, man. Say, say, take Asmongold to the gym. And uh, what I've always said about it is, um, who uh, who fucking cares? Zach is really happy. Zach loves his friends. He likes the work he does. He likes his fucking, you know, uh, Chernobyl elephant's foot of a room. He's 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 happy. Why the fuck? Like, like, no, man. Like, all I care about is, like, what is what is some effort that is actionable that stops you from wanting to kill yourself? That's all that really matters, man. What's stopping you from ending it, you know? And if it's playing World of Warcraft, drinking Dr. Pepper, and hanging out with your friends, you let me know when that stops doing the job, and we'll try the gym. But unless you really want the gym, I don't fucking care. Are you happy? Are you truly content in your day-to-day? -day? Good. Fucking, this is not about making a lot of money. It's not about conquering. Um, it's uh, regardless of what this fucking, you know, post-war on way, like, on way, like, programming is, where it's just a bunch of fucking, you know, uh, the, like, just, like, insecure dudes LARPing as, you know, like, samurai. Uh, it just doesn't make sense, man. Like, find the few things that you derive some sense of joy or fulfillment from and commit your life to them until they no longer do the trick. That's all that matters to me, man. Truly. That is all that matters to me. Find the things that, 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 that make the process of life and living and growing and decaying, ultimately, less miserable. What about people who enjoy conquering? Godspeed, but don't prescribe. That's why I'll say the issue is in, in not in encouraging people to be them best self, their best selves. The issue is in telling people what that looks like. You know what I mean? That's the issue. It's what telling people what their best self is. If your whole thing is conquering, I mean, social order might disagree with you. You know, I think you might be a bit sociopathic, but conquering a task, conquering a goal. I love new skills, dude. I love pushing myself to uh, learn new shit. And to grow in that regard, 150%, a million times over. That's why I gamble and drink heavily daily. Dude, straight up, if that stops you from wanting to die, and everything else prior to has made you want to die, God, yeah, sure, man, I can't moralize that. I really can't. I'm going to tell you that I don't think it's likely that that's going to prop you up. I don't think it's going to give you the legs to keep going, but 
450%, man, like, if that is if that is your process of trial and error and you've arrived at that, I do not fucking care. You know? Like, for instance, I've tried a lot of different things, man. All right? I've worked a handful of jobs. Maybe some of the most rewarding was manual labor. Like, truly. Now, that being said, it paid very poorly and I was tired, but, like, you know, I felt fulfilled by it in a weird way. Um, because I don't... Even as someone who loves, like, thinking and, and writing and expressing, I found as I found I felt as if I was able to do that plenty in that job, even if I'm not being, uh, you know, celebrated for it. You know, a lot of it was just thinking and reading, frankly. I was listening to books on tape and talking about what I was learning with people, and it was fun. Um, you know, I've I've worked a number of jobs that I've that I've that I've I've loved. Um, but the only thing that really stops me from wanting to fucking unalive and end it all is conquering your mother. And um, I wake up every day thinking, how can I conquer new land with new stratagems? Um, and at this point, I mean, we've covered every square inch of that epidermis. Um, yeah, 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 Ducky, I saw. And thank you, by the way. Mwah. Um, my mom is so lucky. Mwah. Okay. Um, anyways, I, I don't know, man. I don't know how to, uh, how to, like, eject from this. I, I get stunlocked a lot on this shit, to be honest with you. Dude, trust me. If you knew how badly your mother wanted to be disrespected, you would not be saying that. All right? I'm Dr. Disrespect the way I am not making a stupid fucking mistake with your mom. Let me tell you something. The only stupid fucking mistake I've made with your mom is pulling out. Uh, I did manual labor jobs for a short time. It was hard, not paid well, but it felt fulfilling weirdly enough. Yeah, because you have like a tangible product for your labor every day. Um, I worked at a great engineering firm, and I was happiest when I was working at Wendy's Fast Food. <laughs> I, again, I think that 90% of not wanting to end yourself is uh, just having a group of people you like spending time with, and I think that those are way more cooperative work environments. Um, fast food, fuck it. It's why I love streaming. I love streaming because I have a group of friends I live with and hang out with and chat with every day. You know, it gives me an opportunity to self-actualize. I get to talk to depth about the shit I think's important to every fucking day. You know how cool that is? This is the coolest job in the world for me. But it has a lot to do with the fact that I love the people I'm around. If I didn't, I'd be fucking miserable. You know? Um, that's what matters, man. It's been hard finding good people to be around. I agree. I think it's one of the hardest parts of adulthood. The best thing I can tell you to do, and this goes for dating as well, dude. Find What are your hobbies and interests? And find groups for them. They exist. There are a lot of lonely people. And if you don't have a group for it, try to start one, man. A lot of people are looking for it. You know? A lot of people are just looking for a point of connection. You know? Um, to just feel like your life was witnessed in a way. And like you got to talk to depth about things that mattered. That shit matters so much, man. You know? Um, what if you enjoy the job but hate the people around it? Uh, fucking apply elsewhere, dude. There are a million ways to, to get out of that. A million ways. Apply elsewhere. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Um, I hate how I can't use Prime on my mobile. I don't need you to. But thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, honestly, man. Also, here's the thing. Here's the thing with this, this burger, with this burger brigade. Here we go. It's time. <laughs> I don't think people knew why Nick was laughing. You and I were destined um, to be best friends like we are. So I took a bite of that burger, and it, like people can't hear that, right? So what what, what ended up happening thank was like so I took a bite of this burger. Yo, thank you so much for the subs, man. So I I um I took a bite of that burger, and I said 9/11 was an inside job, and he just lost it. <laughs> Yeah, I took a big bite, and I said, America deserved 9-11, and he just fucking went off the deep end. Now, uh, I said I said it's so fucking good immediately uh, upon eating it, and that was the thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know why... Um, a lot of people don't know why uh, he, 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 he loved that, man. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh shit, dude, it's like a <laughs> one point five years and he finally tastes it again. <laughs> no. It was so good, dude. Nick's Nick's laugh is so funny. Like Nick's laugh carries so hard. This clip also did not get I mean, the really love it, it deserved. Like a bomb of calories to like offset, uh, you yeah. know, like the bodily stress of a deficit, and it was just like full nutting every time I would have it, because I was doing like an hour of cardio every day, and then I would go, I would have this burger once a week. Wow! And just it was. You guys got left side wake the whole time. That warmth I was talking about every time, without fail, the whole body, it, it just wa it just in waves all the way to the fingertips. Really. It's like, I don't know what it feels like when women have orgasms, but I think it's like that. I don't know what it feels like either. I don't even know what it looks like. I don't know what it feels like either. <laughs> For the record, I need you guys to know something, all right? Because this is the team player I am. As I was saying that, my whole intent was to get Milena to say that joke. I was looking fucking five years into the future. All right. I was shorting the housing market. All right. I'm setting up jokes. What is this? Look, man, if you stopped eating gluten, you'd feel way fucking better all day. Whenever you feel shitty, that's because of gluten. That's not true. Who it the is. fuck told you not to eat gluten? It's just true. You don't even know what gluten I know is. What fucking gluten is? No, you have no idea. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? What is Team Triumph? What the fuck am I being linked to? What is this advertisement? It doesn't even exist anymore. It just says join Team Triumph. I do know what Dude, I thought this movie was so fucking exceptional, by the way. I watched this twice in theaters. It was so absurd. Uh, but then again, like, I'm a sucker for absurdist humor. Some people don't think it's funny. I think, I think like, like people think it's, like, juvenile or slapstick. But, like, you know, have you guys seen I Think You Should Leave on Netflix? It is the single best sketch comedy show I've ever seen because it is just steeped in the absurd. A gluten is. Gluten's a vague term. It's, it's 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 something that's used to categorize things that are bad. You know, calories. That's a gluten. Fat. That's a gluten. Somebody just told you you probably shouldn't eat gluten. You're like, oh, I guess I shouldn't eat gluten. Gluten means bad shit, man, and I'm not eating it. Mm. Oh. Mom. That's that is exactly how it felt, dude. That is exactly how it felt. But the thing is that I really, like, I was so at odds with it because, like, first of all, I thought, all right, if I knew that we were only going to get two burgers, what I would have done for the bit, if he had prepared me and told me exactly how many stops we were going to make, I would have taken one bite and then immediately tried to put the whole burger in my mouth to farm the clip. I would have immediately tried to put the whole thing in my mouth in one go. But I just didn't know that we were only making two stops. I thought that I was going to eat like a full burger over the course of the, so that was like my strategy. It was like in my brain, I was like, okay, I can have a burger, but I just didn't know, you know? If I had known we were only going to make like one or two stops, I would have full housed that burger in front of Nick's face. I think that would have been so funny. And so like, I kind of hate that I didn't know, you know? Like I fucking, it, it hurts to not know that because we could have... I just really want to make sure when I do break diet, you know, for you guys, it's, uh, I, I need to know that I'm going to get a great clip. All right. He probably did less stops to escape your car. Dude, the car memes were so funny. When we ended stream, Melaine was like, I'm sorry, we went so hard on your car. And I was like, this piece of shit? That's what it's built for, baby. It's meant to go hard on. <laughs> Wait, I opened your stream just now and then immediately unboxed a Karambit Tiger Tooth stat track point zero one float in CSGO. I believe you. I believe you. The gum in the cup holder, dude. <laughs> you know what I don't get? They have such advanced streamer brain rot. They're like amazed I remember things. 
like like I'm like I'll like reference a joke Nick said to me once and he's like how do you remember that I was like cuz you fucking said it to me I don't know man Hey thank you clip last So up with the car it's fucking I don't know I don't care about it Like I care about it in regards to how it drives like getting me from A to B but like I have a lot of things I invest so much of myself into maintaining and considering and, 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 you know, channeling my trial and error into. I'm in my car for, like, 20 minutes a day. I don't fucking think about it. Straight up, man. Straight up. Take it to OTK Track Day? That would be the funniest fucking thing. Oh, I might ask Ms. Giff about that. You guys are the only ones who will know. I think that would be the funniest thing. If they're all there and I roll in late and I floor it and my car breaks. <laughs> and it just fucking shits like transmission onto the floor. Oh, that would be gold, man. That would be so good. Just fucking... And then I'll be like, Nick, I need a car. <laughs> Coming with the Star Forge on stream. <laughs> Maybe they buy like a 2K. Dude, it's it's OTK Demolition Derby, but it's just like my car and Zach's car. <laughs> just going full steam into each other. <laughs> I can't, uh, dude, straight up. I thought that was the best fucking like like that was the best part of 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 hanging out with Zach was Zach riding in Zach's car and just being like oh it's just like home you know like this is where I belong yes. you know what I mean that was the best fucking part bar none content brain achieved we're getting closer dude that stream was so amazing holy cow wait did you so you liked the stream Guys, did you like it? I think Nick and I, I... So I really tried today to not worry about being entertaining and just hang out with Nick. Did it go over well? Did you guys find it fun, regardless? Good, because I need Nick to, to, to keep asking me to come back. <laughs> I gotta be... I gotta... I was like... I was so worried. It's like, how did the stream go well enough to where people are like, let's get Wake back? Uh, that was my goal, you know? Because, like, frankly, it's, like, if I... I see my job right now as being, like, a true support character. And every time I'm on a stream, I want it to be analytically successful for the people giving me opportunities, right? Like, how can I make it such that, like, when people are with me, I'm helping them out. You know what I mean? When people are with me, I'm building them and making them into, you know, the 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 success that I think they deserve to be. You know what I mean? Um, that's my goal. And if I do that well, then I have returned the favor wholeheartedly. Um, collab's gonna balloon, you know. I know it's not what you're out for, but it's great exposure. Well, no, I love collabing, man. I really do. Um, I just don't want to... I don't want to, um, because I'm the smaller creator in these exchanges, I don't want to be asking for it. I want to provide such tangible value when I'm on stream that people want me back, you know? Because, like, I'm not, I'm not, it's not me asking someone to come on my stream. It's a much harder ask because I don't, I don't boost them, you know? But me being on their streams, I know I can help them out. You know, I can set up jokes and do all that I can to really make them, you know, uh, make their streams great, you know? I might ask Emily to clean my car. I think that'd be so funny. I really do think that would be so good. I think that would be the absolute shit. Collab with CEO. Dude, I got pinged today from someone named CEO of Wake Wilder. They need to fucking... They need to show themselves. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? That's what I need to know, man. Who in the fuck is that, man?
Um, it's a new meme in Ms. Kiff's chat. So many CEOs. Wait, really? Wait, is it actually that much of a thing? Hold on. Maybe I can see in chat arena. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Come on. Load. This dude started the CEO meta. Yeah, CEO of Amaranth's funny. I like him. He's a mod on my channel now. I think he's really funny. Why aren't you loading? What in the fuck do I... What's a man got to do to get this thing in here? Hold on. Maybe this person's just in my stream? No, CEO of Amaranth's chilling, but that's it. Why is CEO of Amaranth in here and not CEO of Wake Wilder? You know what I mean? Wait, it's on Twitch? All the new CEOs are annoying. It bothers me. Oh, Why? Is Sword on. option? No. Mm. Sorry. I only want to know oh who's the very best streamer. There's an older way to go. Wait, no. Ms. Giff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who the shut up? Chat. Got it. CEO. Okay, there's only one CEO in there. It's just CEO of Amaranth. We don't even have him. At CEO of Wake Wilder. Show yourself. Why don't I have, like, a fucking badge in this channel? I don't have a badge in any of my friends' channels. All right, what do I got to do? What do I got to do? No one ever knows when I type in chat because I just look like, uh, you know, fucking just, just any viewer. <laughs> I didn't even mean it. Oh, hey, man, I almost didn't see you without partner badge. <laughs> One bad stream. Hold on. Would they wait? No, I'm not going to type that because I feel like uh, they might they might ruin that. I feel like I might get banned for that or something. I don't want I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Young Jeff partnered? I know, that's a big boon. That's a big dunk. How the fuck did Jeff get verified before you? Why are they... Why are you guys doing that? You want to know how he got, he, got, he got partnered before me? Because his cock is fucking big. I don't know what to tell you, man. Follow Jerma? Wait, do I not follow Jerma? The con I watch Jerma a lot for someone who doesn't follow him. That's weird as fuck. Um, Mrs. Offline Chat is a wild place. Why? Is a meme at the Twitch office at this point? I'm kind of okay with that. I did. He is the greatest. Like, he is absolutely my favorite streamer. It's not even close. You think I like that Ms. Kiff guy? <laughs> that fuck Kiff? No shot. No shot, dude. Please tell me I'm going to be looking at some Canute ass. God damn it. Go to bed, dude. I don't want to look at this shit. Go to fucking sleep, Canute. The fuck out of here. Fuck Ms. Kiff, dude. Poor Canute was down to seconds. Yeah, that's what happens when you do a subathon. Everyone just baits it and edges 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 it, and that's it, all right? It's the whole gambit, all right? None of it matters. Viewers also watch Atrioc, Michaela, and Wantup. <laughs> Wait, really? That's my, that's my fucking, th those are my adjacent streamers? Oh, no.
You have big A on another tab? <laughs> Just make sure you don't tab through it, all right? <laughs> See, now Will Neff will take. That's what we want, all right? That's what we want. You have these? Hold on. Yeah. What, what, who old do we have here? What are we getting? Jesus Christ. One tap, man. What the fuck? You know what? Based. Atrioc, I actually, you know what? Atrioc makes good content. Makes good content. <laughs> yeah, Nick, I don't think I'm going to touch on that only because I don't know anything about it. Um, That's just going to be the fucking cancer that is LSF. It's like, what the fuck am I going to add to that? You know, um, I do want to see everything that's going on on LSF though. LSF looking very green. You're not going to touch on a good one. Until Dom's ah. doesn't inhibit your ability to work out. Where did you get it from? Dom should not inhibit your ability to work out. Until Dom's doesn't inhibit your ability to work out. Where did you get it from? Dom should not inhibit your ability to work out. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. This is what I'll say. He's saying that doms shouldn't inhibit your ability to work out. This is what I will say. Delayed onset muscle soreness, while it shouldn't necessarily inhibit your ability to work out, is indicative of poor recovery and should be considered um, as you refine your fitness processes. So, like, if you are consistently fighting against doms, there is likely some imprecision. Um, either uh, it's under-eating or over-training or under-sleeping. There's something there. I wouldn't watch too much of it as he's banned. He says TOS stuff. What does he say? What? I feel like people watch Destiny on stream all the fucking time. Am I wrong? He says, kill yourself? What? Why? Why? Because he's on kick. Got it. Hey, man. Sh everyone should continue showing those colors, man. <laughs> All right, what's this? When I was just, like, first, like, learning, I was like, okay, this is how to play Among Us. Dude, I I hate that I miss this meta. I miss so many great Twitch metas, man. So many collaborative metas. The Austin Show meta. Well, I guess the Raj meta. This meta. I had notes it. And remember the drama? The Among Us notepad drama? Trainrex was real mad at me. He was mad that I was using a notepad. And it caused drama. Did it actually? Was that actually a point of concern? Oop, it was spicy. There was literally nothing to do on the internet that day, huh? That was crazy. I was like, wait, no way the drama today is using a notepad. What? No, that was so how do all of these tr streamers do there now that they're there? Like, how do all the streamers do on YouTube now? so funny though i couldn't even believe it that was a real day that existed in our timeline <laughs> they were so mad about the notepad the incident i'm like bro you guys are so ridiculous like are their numbers like, identical everyone, everyone knew i was playing with a notepad it was like everyone my muscles my sore muscles massaged Eh, a little bit of both I, look man i think that getting your muscles uh like it's good to continue working through it but you should probably augment your intake if you're constantly uh you know struggling against doms myth is getting 400 interesting i knew i was like my memory <laughs> when i was just like first like learning 
Well, how will establish it? I feel like the issue is that Myth's entire audience on YouTube was built around Fortnite, and so cracking into that algorithmically is really challenging. Maybe Twitch isn't partnering you because you show D. Because I show that dick. You show full dong. Is that what you're talking about? Um, I like Myth a lot, man. Uh, show me a single no-name partner that goes from Twitch to Kick and actually is getting subs and views. It's literally all mid-range uh, to big streamers doing it as a spectacle. Even still, they're getting diminished views. There's no, like, look, there's quite literally, and I mean this, no way for an individual to actually, unless you are a very small streamer, um, substantiate the switch, even financially. Um, I make more money here than I would on, Twi on, on Kick with the same sub count because of ad revenue. Ad revenue included, even as a non-partner, I get no bounties, I still make more money um, in comparison to someone who just streams on Kick. 100%. Um, I don't know if alternative streaming platforms will ever succeed. Amazon Prime is actually fucking insane. Yes, absolutely. Absolute boon. Um, Action Man going from two to four and a half, four to five viewers. Um, I would question how fast is his chat moving? I think that there is a fucking gratuitous view botting issue on that website. 100%. <laughs> Every time I look at a fucking stream on Kick, the chats are crawling. Crawling. They move this fast? Well, yeah, I mean, look, I'm not the fucking measuring stick there, all right? But if he's got 5K viewers and his thing's moving here, if it's moving similar to this, probably not it. Um, The Rostein guy, definitely view bots. I mean, that's just going to be fucking... Why wouldn't fucking kick... Why wouldn't Stake viewbot their own streams on the website they own? Like, why wouldn't they? You know what I mean? That makes no fucking... Dirty and articulate? Yeah. Many people use slow mode because people can spam. Okay. Prove it, show CCV, click through CPM for any ads run on Kick if it's not all bots and gifted subs from Kick shills. It is almost entirely uh, shill, uh, gifted sh subs from shills, like uh, Train or any of the other, uh, you know, like uh, Kick bureaucracy that go there. Um, some people are flirting with doing a one-hour Kick stream after their normal Twitch stream to get fatter sub split from uh, oil or gifters. Why don't they just fucking donate? Like, what in the fuck? We still have a dono button, you fucking morons. Reroute them to fucking PayPal if you want all five dollars. Fucking un uh, unaffiliate yourself with Twitch, deny your partnership, and run off fucking donos if you want 100%, dude. Donations are hit hard by ta- How do they get hit harder? It's all counted as income there. It's going to be the exact same, like, unless you get more money, in which case then, you know, things would be, you know, gradually, like, through progressive tax bracketing. I mean, like, yeah, eventually. But, like, even if you have the infinite money glitch, what's the point to have a site uh, just to bot it and throw money at it? What's the point? I will tell you why. Because it will... Gambling is not... Uh, it's not a numbers game. All right, you, it's, it is the embodiment of quality over quantity. They want a few addicts. Not everyone's going to do that, but what they do get, the customers they do, the lifetime addicts they procure out of a few communities will absolutely substantiate their investment. They're looking for a few people who are going to hemorrhage all of their money over and over and over again, and they will get it. That is the whole fucking premise. The whole premise of, of, of Kick.com is to be what's essentially a, a, a click funnel towards Stake.com. They want to find a, a, they want to essentially, they want you to transfer your impressionable and uninitiated communities into what is designed to be a hub for cross-pollinating gambling into said communities. 
so that ideally they procure a handful of gambling addicts from that community that will go on to not just subsidize but far exceed the money they pay you. That's it. There is no monetization strategy outside of creating new gambling addicts. That is the entire premise of Kick. They are giving you pretty much the entirety of your sub revenue, and they have. The, I can't. Um, I I cannot construct in my mind a business that would want to advertise itself on Kick.com outside of the people who own Kick.com alone being stake. You are going to get fucking dog shit cryptocurrency rug pulls. Um, you know, rug pull NFT projects in Stake.com. Those are your ads. Am I allergic to one syllable words? Real quick, out of curiosity, you used one, R U two, one words. Allergic syllable, you're using a lot of syllables. I think we're learning that a lot of the English language is multisyllabic, which is a fun one to play with. And to build a meaningful sentence, Sometimes we have to use a bunch of sounds to imbue the poetry we want to imbue into it while also communicating meaning. It's okay to express yourself with language. We don't have to talk like cyborgs, you fucking people, man. The amount of people who've been like, well, why don't you use similar words? And We don't have to do that. Um, Twitch gave us Soda Pop and YouTube gave us Jake Paul. Mixer gave us Ninja. Facebook gave me gave us Disguise. Toast Kick gave us Aiden Ross. <laughs> Duh. 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 Um, yeah, I did get one guide. 99.999% of the st uh, gamblers stop before they get their big win. Huge true fact. Yes, you got to get it twisted, man. You got to go gamble, all right? You got to go do it. You got to go hemorrhage all of your money. Uh, there's no reason. You can't justify going to kick. You just can't. Holy shit. Wait, Slicker's on kick now? No shit. Do you, do you pray every day? I try my best to. Oh, yo, King. Begging in chat. Yo, King. He's got like 500 followers. I mean, it's got to suck, man. You've been streaming for so long. I bet he's fucking just horribly bored. You know what I mean? Like, he's got to just have so fucking little to do. Generally thought about uh, doing a kick stream for Movie Wednesdays. I would love to tell him why he fucking shouldn't. <laughs> oh, God. I hope he doesn't. Like, dude, the amount of people who are creating kick channels and streaming on the website are really, like... I wonder if people are just so without second thought as to why it is they're offering the money they're offering. But, like, there's typically some sense of comparable or equivalent exchange and not even equivalent they are planning on making more money off you than they'll ever give you in return you know um it really fucking sucks to have so many people be so thoughtless as to where it is that money comes from <sighs> nothing is wrong with gambling wake let people do what makes them happy i'm not saying don't gamble I'm saying I refuse to profit from an addiction. No offense you and your co you you no offense you you and your colleagues wake but I think you think streamers are a lot more morally sound than they actually are. Well, the reason I say that is because I would like to implore people to do better and to be better. Do you know what I mean? Um, now, Raz, I don't think that that's the case. All right. So when you say if people really considered that, it would be tough for people to justify working in a lot of places. No, because like, yes, all profit is, 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 is coated in blood, mind you. I mean, all labor is even the way I get from, you know, my, my, my fucking car to get from my house to my fucking, you know, gym. I mean, like the process of doing that, the fuel I'm burning has been fucking, you know, seeped in blood. Like that's... <laughs> Wars were fought so I could do that. Yes, everything is horrific um, when you zoom out far enough. 
absolutely. However, when you consider the direct nature of exploitation, right, the ways in which I am preying upon my audience and bringing them to that website, that is what I refuse to do. It is very direct. No, there's no amount of money I'd take to go to kick. I do not care enough about money. I would rather just sustain what I'm making here and enjoy my time. Uh, you judge society, yet you live in it. Curious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I refuse. Um... When was the last time you smoked? Years. A couple years, for sure. Um, My favorite Waycado Avocado content is in reviewing casino food. What if we do that, man? I want to go to strip clubs. Uh, that's what we'll do. We'll do a, we'll a kick.com stream where I go to strip clubs and just uh, order the menu. Dude, that would be such a funny YouTube video to do with Nick. <laughs> oh, fuck. That would be so funny just to watch how uncomfortable Nick would be. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy my filet man <laughs> first time I did a strip club I ordered wings it was worse than wings from checkers oh they're so bad oh my god that would be the best extra Emily stream fuck that would be the only reason I'd ever stream on kick is to stream that fuck that would be so funny Oh, that would be so good. I'd never have a career if it would be so good. Most people think they want millions of dollars a year, but everyone I've known who's ever made uh, like ninety to mid hundred thousand dollars a year uh, never felt like they needed more. Selection bias is crazy for famous people. Well, because it's a matter of it's trying to um, cement and substantiate your status. You know, it's like how do I, amongst my peers, compete for uh, you know some sense of validity. You know, um, and um, when everything's satisfied and when you have enough, uh, it, it really does start coming down to what, what's essentially just so like, much. yo, Best like, I think it's been two months. Well, just like imaginary internet points, right, at a certain point. Like, it's just like a number in a bank account. It's not even money you're seeing. It's just a bar you keep filling. Um, none of it matters. <laughs> uh, if anything, it starts to become a social detriment. You're doing hard things to people. Uh, you see that apparently Amy's cousin wants to go back to Austin and bring, uh, with her Seabomb, who she's apparently friends with. Yeah, I mean, we're friends with Seabomb. Kyle and I are. Like, we, we know Chris. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. People just throw it away. Yes. It's all, it's all a matter of substantiating your value publicly. That's it, man. It's just people who want to be like, now look at me and tell me I'm enough. Tell me I'm enough. And it never is enough. What's your take on UBI? I mean, fuck, man. That's a really, like, multi-tiered explanation. But I think if we build a world that can automatically extract, uh, you know, manufacture and redistribute all necessary resources um, without risk of scarcity, um, and everyone... I, I think that if we're at that point, there's no need for currency at all. You know? I think that UBI is scary because it puts us in a position of there being someone distributing the UBI and probably having more of it. If it's not truly universal, then it's stupid. Um, uh, there's an amazing news video about rich people. Interesting. What's my take on UTIs? Um, there's not a good your mom joke in there, man. UTIs are tragic. Like, really bad. I had a partner who would actually UTIs were pretty common with a lot of my partners. Am I the problem? I'm kidding. Um, my first girlfriend though would get UTIs pretty regularly, which was fucked up. Um, uh, I think I gave a girl a UTI from double dipping. Yeah, no, that that well, yeah, double dipping will that'll that'll do that. Um. Yeah. Yeah, UTIs are brutal. Um 
Moving on. I don't... Sorry, guys. That's all I got for it. All right? UTIs suck. There's nowhere to go with that. Did Emily get a UTI? What the fuck? Dude, that's a really weird question to ask. I, I'm, I'm upset I even answered... Uh, dude, don't... Don't do that. Don't... Uh, the fact that I even read half that message out without thinking, I'm very tired. Please don't ever do that. Okay? Um, do you like the OTK Among Us video? I actually haven't seen it yet. Should I look at it? I'm pretty tired today because I woke up so fucking early. Um, let's see. Alright, let's watch it. Today begins a new day. 20 fucking minutes? Oh my fucking god, dude. We're in lazy content mode. This is shit. Day for the crew aboard the International Space Survey ship who have dedicated their lives to searching the endless sky for new possibilities and opportunities. Pretty great fire effects for... However, the a budget. murder of one of the crewmates has taken place. And no one knows... They were like, we can't. We we don't want to bother correcting the fucking audio on this guy all day. <laughs> this would have been a six month fucking post production journey. With tech tone peaking levels, every line. By who? Jeez, pretty studio. Hello. Anyone there? Hello. Come in. Is anyone there? Yeah. There's been a murder. What? You need to listen to me. Oh, no. You need to find out who. Really? Yes. Guys, I got bad news. <laughs> it's like he's just not taking it seriously at all. You know? Oh, no. It's just funny. It must just be all improv. Somebody's been murdered. What? No. Yeah. So and good. the thing is, it's just us on the. He's got a gun in his fucking hand. Ship. So it's it's two of us. Two of us are guilty. Two of us murdered somebody. Wait, that's crazy. How did you know that exactly two people did it? The captain. <laughs> I know this is gonna be very. How did you know that exactly two people did it? The captain. <laughs> I know this is going to be very difficult, but we're going to have to figure out who is bad here. Emily. Yes? Do you, you do this thing. You look at people, uh -huh. but you're not really, like, looking at us. You look through us. Mm. And that's... A, oh, God, why did he do that? The trait of a psychopath. Psychopath. Yeah, I see that, too. No, that's just my eyes. No, it's because you're not looking at us. You're looking at your next victim. I'm not. I'm not the imposter. I think Nick is sus for accusing me so fast. I'm going to be honest. We got number one. We got number two. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Both bitch. Yes. Both. He went right for the pogo. Why are you doing this? Both the you. women. Oh, whoa, whoa, chill, chill. So relax, true. relax. Two things. Get Squad W, dude. And you know they're not going to get sentenced as Tarsh, you know? Imagine if Nick did it. Be 25 to life. They're going to get parole. They're going to get parole. Twitch. Feeble fucking policy is going to keep it a buck. I understand. I'm not sexist. I have a mom. I have a girlfriend. Okay. okay. Um, that is how it works. Okay. Oh, you do Boom. have a mom. Yep, and I have black friends. Number three, <laughs> you're sitting there quiet. Yeah. She never does that. You usually talk so fucking much, we can't shut you up. I do. That's actually true. I'm just... Do this. Look at that camera right there and say, I am not the killer. I am not the killer. You do it. Bullshit. Look at that camera and say, I am not the I, killer. I am not the killer. Right. Dude, you are lying. Uh, oh right. my god. I'm not, I'm not. Okay, her lack of nervousness actually makes me more suspicious of her. Because she's a cold hearted, cold blooded yep. bitch yep. killer. She has no, she has no. <laughs> what type of, what type of shit was that? I'm just the shit. How Don't you trying to point at me? Oh my Don't god. Don't ever point at me. Jesus oh. Christ. Hey, you better shut the fuck up. Miz, you're not talking at all. You always talk. Why aren't you saying anything? I've learned to stop talking. 
I know a lot of us are feeling insecure, scared. <laughs> we don't know what might be next, but we have to get to the bottom of this. Otherwise, people are will die. Are we making die. a video now? Or are we talking normally? Nick. Really? Yo, it's it's her. I swear. I'm literally doing nothing. You oh my God! Stop doing this, Trevor. Dude, Miz has restored his hairline. Holy shit. Nick! Really? Yo, it's it's her, I swear. I'm literally doing nothing. You got this lazy eye twitch. I literally do have a lazy eye. Now ah! now you're hitting my insecurities. Yeah. Well, they're both lazy, so they kind of point off in opposite directions, much mm -hmm. like a frog. Signs okay. of a psychopath. Or, or, it's somebody who's aware of predators. So maybe she's not the killer. <laughs> Actually, now I'm starting to get convinced the other way. Thank you, Because that's why rabbits have, have eyes on the side of their heads. Wait, so who are you so looking wolves? at? I'm looking at Asmin. He's about to fall over, yeah, but Asmin? he's not. What do you mean? He's very I stealthy. do this all the time. What are your thoughts? I, I, I don't know how to play the fuck this fucking game. I got no idea. All right, Pedito. All right, Pedito. You know what I'm doing? Okay. I'm an idiot. Let's start from the top. Okay. Dude, I... I do not know how Nick does this. I am so fucked up from having wake, w woken up like fucking... 13, 14 hours ago. Like, this is... This is not good. Dude, maybe we'll become a noon streamer. Okay, Who did so you there, kill? There's... Well... Uh, I... I... Yeah, nice try. Okay, I thought I... I yeah, okay, alright, yeah, nope. So, so what do I do? There are people among us... Oh, fuck. ...that are sussy. Oh, fuck, oh, God. And it's, there's oh, two of God. them... I spent two years avoiding this fucking shit, not gonna do it. You have to find the sussy imposters. Oh, fuck. And there's two of them. It could be you, but it's most likely Emily. Nick. Yeah, got it? Okay. It also could be Seer. I did see him try to strike. No, it is not! Stop it. Okay, it's probably not. <laughs> there was something so... Look at this cock-to-the-world posture, man. Cock-facing the world. Not Seer, but we know that one of them is probably Emily. What? Stop it! That just sounded, like, very, like, fucking, you know... Kid who can't read social cues on live leak sticking up for himself in a school fight, you know? That was just so... Yeah, than... okay, all right, yeah, nope. So, so what do I do? There are people among us... Oh, fuck. ...that are sussy. Oh, fuck, oh, God. And there's oh, two God. of them... I spent two years avoiding this fucking shit, not gonna do it. You have to find the sussy imposters. Oh, fuck. And there's two of them. It could be you, but it's most likely... Emily. Nick. Yeah. Got it? Okay. It also could be Seer. I did see him try to strike. No, it is not! Stop it! <laughs> okay, it's probably not Seer. <laughs> Just stop it, man. But we know that one of them is probably Emily. What? No, it's not! Okay, give me six reasons why you're not the imposter. One, because I have a fat ass. Two, because I was busy cooking when they were getting killed. How do yeah. you know when they got killed? Wait. No, you just, you were the one that I never told you when they got killed. You didn't even get a call from a captain, did yes, you? Yes, I did. Are you sure? Yeah. Hello? See, he's still here. Hello? I think it's Seer. I will kill you if you say that again. Okay. This is like that fucking bizarre, it, what, I, what I admire about this is that it's so out of the wheelhouse of OTK, conceptually, to do any of these like weird long form sketches. It was like when they did that one fucking um, school episode. Do you know what I mean? When they were all like in that after school detention concept. And it was just like a fucking fever dream. Do but it. unrelated to all of this, I will just kill you. That's fun. That's okay. Well, feels like it's getting late. Yeah, I'm getting tired. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Right, so <gasps> that Yo! No! I know who the imposter was. It was Asmin. He killed himself so he doesn't have to play. So now there's oh, only one imposter. No. I feel like Asmin did not I... show up for day two, and uh, they just used someone else. <laughs> That's entirely what happened. There's almost no shot it wasn't that. 
This is not Asmongold's body. I am positive of that. Oh. There's no way. Like, I just by looking at him, you know that this dude's dick is dirty. You know what I mean? Dick on the floor like that? Not in his nature. No chance. He'd be cradled by a pocket of air. I don't know. I think I'm a little sus Miz. What the hell did I do? <laughs> You're just like twiddling around over there. I'm the janitor. It's my job to clean. Is Miz drunk? Twiddling around over there. I'm the janitor. It's my job to clean. It sounds like you're trying to tell your like drunk friend to go to bed at like the end of a party. You know? Like that's how that feels. I need to make work for myself. Guys, why are none of you sad? Well, to be honest, we don't Why really she like just clap your hands? I I don't know. It's cool he That is not Zach. He's like laying on the ground. He is he is no one. What are you looking at me us. for? <clears throat> Somebody just died. I, this is what I said was gonna happen. Okay, I got some theories, I got some thoughts. What? Okay. Number one, I was accusing you so hard last time. Uh-huh. There's no way you wouldn't kill me. Yeah, yeah but wouldn't exactly. that be obvious? I don't think so, because I think it would be obvious that she did do it. So if she did do it, it'd be like, okay, it was her then. But she didn't do it, so therefore it's not her. Very interesting. Well, no, that's what I'm exactly. saying. Exactly. It would be so obvious that she would do it, that she didn't do it, so that she... No. I see what, do you're, it. you're trying to be on she, my level, but no, I think... she's still smart. She hasn't, she's not that far away from graduating from college. She still has brains left. That's true. So I also do believe there are still... M, M just killed him by spanking it to death. Just with her son. Ooh, ooh la la. <laughs> it's how I imagine Emily killing someone by spanking them. Instead of going under, she goes down and goes. Bah, 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 bah. That's that's how that's her form. Well, two. Ooh la la. Imposters among us. Unless Asmund killed himself. And I'm gonna keep it 100p. I know who exactly who one of them is. All right, let's all say on the. Emily did some ooh hoo and then died of cringe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fuck, it's so bad, man. There are a few things I feel physically, like I feel inverted when I hear it. You know, like someone's like peeling my skin off and like flipping me inside out. Count of three who it is, because I know exactly oh, who you're so thinking. Bad. Okay. One, two, three. Emily. Yes. Yes. Did we all say S-Fan? I didn't say anyone. Okay. I said it okay. I said Imaru. All right, let me go first and say why I think so, it's S-Fan. Okay. S-Fan does this thing when he kills people. He constantly has a gun in his hand and twirls it nonchalantly. I've been noticing he's been doing that a lot lately. Number two on why I think S-Fan is a killer. <laughs> just put it in his bra. He also just got a root, root canal. I did get a root canal. Oh, convenient, That's the thing. huh? I, I got a root canal. I don't think I could have killed anybody. I'm gonna keep it <laughs> again 100 p on a stack Skrilla. I Nick really shows up for every event. I don't know if you guys noticed, but everything is running through Nick here. This dude is 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 like covert carrying OTK, and I do not say that. So he uh actually I already got the Star Forge. I don't even need to suck this dude off anymore. We're fucking done. We fucking got it. Fuck this dude. I say we just vote him or no, no, no. It really... No, this stuff runs through Nick like fast food, man. It really does. Like, very legitimately. He is... Like, he shows up and gives his best effort to everything. In a very legitimate way. All right? The pollen plug couldn't stop how hard everything's running through this dude. I should probably ask for that Starforge uh, affiliate link thing so I can promote them. Oh, convenient, huh? I, I gotta... No, no, no. What Nick is great at is setting up jokes, like, 100%. Like, even if he isn't, let's say, um, the person delivering the punchline, he facilitates everything actively. Like, he's trying to keep bits alive and find new openings for people. He, he really is the very best uh, in collaborative settings. Picked up on collaborating and doing a style of video more than his first few years, or I thought uh, he was a little more absent. Now he's carrying hard the whole orc. Well, yeah, I mean, he he he, he kind of like assimilated uh, an, 
a, an entirely collaborative content model. Like, it's very unique unto him, you know? Waker is cramps real? Yes, I am sure of that. That dude, that dude gets suddenly, like, hyper fucked up out of nowhere, and he'll, like, show me his muscle spasming. But I think it's just because the dude does not consume any, like, uh, vital fucking, um, you know, vitamins or minerals ever. Root canal? I don't think I could have killed anyone. His model boosts the whole org as well? Yes. Everyone who's running an active collaborative model is doing everything for everyone else. Whether whether it makes sense to you or not, that is the that is the soul of OTK. It is the soul of Austin as like an an industrial hub. It is predicated on constant uh, communal collaboration and like finding ways to set everyone up for success. That is the spine of this entire operation. I'm gonna keep it again 100 p on a stack, Skrilla. I say we just vote Imaru out right now. Yeah. Wait, why? Why do you think it's me? Yeah, because it is. You're so sussy. What did I do that was sussy? You're not. See, that's the thing. You're not doing. Anything. Yeah, you're that's snarky. What I always do. You're, you're turned no, away no, no, from no, no, us. No, no, no. Like, are you the imposter or not? Tell us. I'm not. Asphane just loves busting out the gun, man. Well, yeah, that's a pretty compelling argument. You know what? You know why I think it's you. Because your lips quivering a little bit, it's like it's shaking a little bit. You see, a little bit. There it is. That's not normal. Hey, S fans is doing that too. Normal. What do you mean? No, I just got a root canal. That's not normally. Yeah, he got a root. Likely What's story. your excuse? It's just I don't know. It's a facial twitch. I'm gonna say it right now. Who I think it is? It's S fan. He's doing way too much for way too little. You're too good of a guy, man. It doesn't make any sense. It's just a story <laughs> of my life. S Miz acts like Kyle from Good Neighbors stuff. Kyle Mooney on SNL. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Aw, Benjels. You're too good a guy, Benjels. Way too little. You're too good of a guy, man. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's just a story of my life. As fans say, I did not kill Asmongol. I did not kill Asmongol. But your friend did. And who's your friend? Emeru. <laughs> Say I did what? not kill Asmongold. <laughs> I did not kill Asmongold. Talking for real, I actually think you're trying to go too hard on people, and you're trying to officiate the game, and that's always what the killers try and do, to take all the attention off of them, and then nobody even mentions Nick. Um, to be honest... Wake, you do a good Seinfeld! What do you mean? It's not that good! It's kind of loud! But, you know, why do they have it? Maybe I am talking too much, but I can stop. I don't want any more innocent people to die. Keto God, thank you for keeping me grounded. We have to vote one of them out right now or we're screwed. Now do Lakari doing Seinfeld, all right. Wow, wake, what do you mean? I didn't think it would be a problem if I <laughs> it was just a little bit of calm because I was playing epic seven dog dog it's not me dog it's not yo what up is gal what you done are you serious dog? Just, no it's my friend dog why you start saying dog all of a sudden, bro? What's going on? <laughs> no, I'm just saying Pulling dog. Pulling a gun, you start Hold on, what did I miss? Dog, dog. We have to vote one of them out right now, or we're screwed. Dog, dog, it's not me, dog. It's not- You won't get what you've done. Are you serious? No, it's, no, it's my friend, dog. <laughs> now, do Christopher Wagon. It's crazy. Because you never- thought it was enough but now we're here and S fan he's got a gun S fan why you got a big old gun you gotta put it down why you start saying dog all of a sudden bro what's going on <laughs> no I'm just saying Pulling dog a gun, you start saying no, dog doing, anyone, no, was, anyone else catch that Let's take it to a vote. So, and let's think long and hard. Legitly, analytically. <laughs> Miz. Yeah. Who do you think it is? I think it's S-Fan because S-Fan is trying to be very- 
All right, do Christopher Walken, doing Lakari, doing Seinfeld. All right. Well, you come, it's gotten out of hand and wake. Why is there so much come in the movie theater popcorn? <sighs> Hold on, how do I get Lakari into that? Lakari, Lakari, hold on. What do you mean? I... I never thought of it like that. Oh my god. Wake. That's crazy. What about airplane food? Can I eat that, Wake? Can I have airplane food, Wake? Can I have airplane food, Wake? What do you mean? We can't have airplane food. <laughs> Wait, did we get there? <laughs> <laughs> Did we kind of get there by the end? <laughs> okay. We... <laughs> that one didn't make sense. Be All right, fuck it. Manipulative. Next you sick, cold blooded, psychopathic fucking killer. Uh, how dare you? Just go ahead and fucking say you did it. I didn't. Give me three reasons why I would kill Aspen. Two reasons? These fucking fists! No! No, stop! 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 stop, stop. That's a quark attack, dude. Stop! You're scaring and me! And the third reason? Please, I don't want any problems. Krav Maga! Oh. <laughs> Emily, who do you think? Will Neff and I have kind of similar cadences when we get, like, ecstatic, you know? Like, I... Like, when we're really talking, we get, like, up here. It's going! Nah, he's got, like, he's kind of up there all the time, though, you know? My voice, I, I don't know. I feel like I've got a weird voice to impersonate. I've never had anyone do it. It's sussy. I think it's Miz because Miz wishes he has as many viewers on his alt as Asmund does. So he killed him. Fair. Who else? You're nasally, he's high. Dude, you and Will should link. I would love to do more content with Will. Imagine if I took all of the nasal out of my voice. Just shut it down. All through the throat. Gonna let it all go right out through the throat. Right there. It's gonna keep moving. You're a chiller. I am I am wake. Alright? Will is Will. I am wake. And together, um, we make... Oh. In Eiffel Tower, just really ramrod in your mom on both ends really well. Another. This is me not putting anything through my nose at all. I'm trying to shut off all semblance of nasality. You you only get wake out of your nose or out of the mouth. No nose. Trying to keep it all out. This is me being as not nasally as possible, and it's fucking weird. Person? My fellow Americans. Let me be clear. We'll be opening. What's well, two? Uh, S fan. Okay, that's a very compelling argument. Yeah. Number two, of course, is Imaru because if there is no way people are. I don't have an Obama. I've never tried. I'd have to workshop it. Dying on this ship, and you are doing absolutely nothing. You don't give a fuck. That's you just don't... how I always am, Nick. You're acting like you don't know me. Stop. See how violent she got? Yes! She got so violent right there. You're so violent. You're, you're always me. so violent. She's like, she is pissed. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. All right? Now... In Arkansas. I can tell. So I believe it is Miz and Emmy. It's 100% S-Fan television. Tell me you didn't do it. I Look didn't at me do in the it eyes and say you did not kill Asmund Gold. I did not kill Asmund. Right. Gold? Gold. Excuse me. I got a root canal today. I'm 20. Man. You're done. Yeah, fuck it up. 
It's a dog in the space. <laughs> so do I get to talk or do I not get okay. to talk because Amy you're controlling the yourself. situation? Go ahead. I think it's Nick and Emily because Nick took control of the situation and created this scenario where him. I wonder if I can do McConaughey. Right up here, you start talking with a little bit of a whistle, a little bit of a whisper, going from one bar to life to the next. All up in there. The crazy thing about a McConaughey is that it's real soft, real smooth, a little bit of a Lincoln. Do I have any Bernie Sanders in me? I don't know. It would take some time to find it. Where it is, I don't know, but it is unjustifiable. Ah, we, we'll get it. Him and Emily will never accuse each other, mm. but accuse everyone else. Now she's talking because she's under scrutiny. But I accused her the first day. Yeah, when no one would vote for her. And now you're like, oh, we're buddies because I accused you. How about, here's a cool thing. Don't uh, ask me questions like, is a blank plowing blank? I'm plowing Miz. I'm plowing all of the men in OTK, and they are my concubines. How about that? You're the first day and I didn't die. Uh, I think it's S-Fan because we're about to go to night and he just grabbed his gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to sleep with a gun. I, I think we have to vote. Okay, let's do it. I propose a vote for Emmy. Raise your Is NMP Lowell plowing Wake Wilder? Um, I mean, we both put each other's plugs in, but that's about it. Um, Man, listen my face. But that's just kind of a medical thing. You're not nearly as manipulative. She's getting violent. She's getting violent. Okay. Emmy, is it you? It's not me. Well, well you're going to die now. I guess I'm dead now. s fan <gasps> The only man on here who has the balls to kill somebody. That's right. <gasps> this, dog, this damn thing works smooth. You don't want to see this. You know what? Morning graphic material. Am I allowed to look at this despite that? But I don't want to be on this ship anyway. Holy shit. Are we going to get this shit done now or are we going to get this shit done now? Oh! Enough! Well done. The editing's great. Trevor's very fucking dead. People have died! Guys, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> I don't think it was her. So you screwed us over. Yeah, I fucked up. Right, let's go to bed, yeah? I mean, if it's not her, we're, we it's actually so lost. Good, yeah. Yep, because, actually, no, 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 yeah, legit, because, like... Now it's nighttime. Nighttime, they kill, it's 2-2, two, two, it's over. Yeah, let's go to bed. Okay. Um... I think... Either Emily wakes up dead next, or Nick. <gasps> Miz. That makes sense. I was thinking they'd want to string Miz along because he's like core to like, you know, OTK. But um he probably wanted to go home. <gasps> he has said like six things. <laughs> In ways that always seemed a bit sarcastic. Alright, I gotta pee real quick, guys. Give me one sec.
Yo. All right, let's get into this shit. Oh, man. You know, it's it's tough because, like, today, chat, I feel so tired from having gone on stream, and I feel like a lot of pressure to do, like, great content. And I want you to know I'm trying to summon my very best, and I appreciate you guys a lot, okay? Um, but I always feel a lot of pressure after, like, a big collab to, like, go on and be like, shit, now I'm going to deliver the very best of Wake Wilder. But today it's a little subdued. Are you guys still enjoying the stream? Ones in chat if it's still decent and you're enjoying hanging out and talking. <laughs> I really thought it was him. Okay. I loved him. I uh, thought it was him. <laughs> Let's do what he would have wanted us to do. And it's funny because it implies Seer experiences emotion. He's a cold-blooded pussy slayer, man. All he does is kill your mom's pussy over and over again like a master clitoris assassin. Take the trash out. What he could- Dude hasn't felt anything. All right, next post. Not have done. Let's oh go. my god, he's heavy! One. He's left-handed, but right bald. They don't talk about how that's the dominant ball. One, two, three. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss him so much. Into the trash you go. I'm gonna miss him so much. Oh Yeah, no. we'll get someone to clean this up. It's fine. That's a lot of, that's a lot of cock print, man. <laughs> that was just a lot of cock print. I'm surprised they kept that shot. <laughs> that was, I don't want to go back. You guys can go get your own. Look, this is how I get viewers for OTK. If you want to go back and review Mrs. Cock print at 1230, go do it on your own time on your own browser. So they get the view. Okay. <laughs> Just put him in the uh and clickbait that. Um barrel of hydrofluoric acid later. Yeah, that's fine. Real quick. Looked more like ball print. Yeah, it kinda looked like both balls were like descent like 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 churning, like you know. That was like it kinda looked like the balls were uh like consuming uh the cock. Pure cock, what a hog. Can I see the gun? Just real quick, just to see it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Emily and Seer, could you please come over here, please? W hog. Are you gonna shoot us? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. It looked like a kitten under a blanket, you know? No. Wait, hold on. How you, you stay You stay over there. How did you know how to check <gasps> the barrel of that gun? Woo. Look, guys, we all know Ms. Kip's right out of his skull, all right? Dude hardly has testicles at this point. Why are you all... That's pure cock. All of a sudden getting a QZ. By singling me out from the rest of the group. I I had a root canal. Have... Be nice to me. I think you need to sit down. <clears throat> ah, my root canal. Everybody... Everybody just calm down. I know things are stressful. I'm not the killer. I've killed- Emily's way too happy for a mass murder situation. Dude, Emily could do a jury duty stream and like rule and like and like be the deciding vote in someone's death sentence. Thank you so Yo, much. ZX. Best of Thank you so much for the five. Uh, I still stand by that. She could be the ruling vote in someone's death sentence, the deciding vote. She'd be like, well, bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry. That stinks. I guess we'll never know. Killed men like you? I was in the rebel line find out later via DNA evidence that he was entirely innocent. They just didn't have any, 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 uh, you know, available specimens, you know? Oops! Oh, well. <laughs> Don't drop the soap! Ooh la la! 
I watched my friends die three parsecs out of the death storm. You think I ain't seen it, fucko? Yeah, it was, um, they shot that on S-Fan's green screen, man. I wonder if they started shooting when they still in the air. You're gonna have to get your own content there. All right, you're gonna need you need your own moves, you motherfucker. Should Voldemort's down. Hold on, where is it? Where is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean, man? Fucking hack. Can't just fuck it. Look, man, I know that it's a streamer's job to co-opt and claim everything is their own, to read chat, feel the message from chat, and act as if they came up with it themselves. <laughs> Barty Crouch, Jr. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Your arm hurts. <sighs> you know what this means, don't you? He's back. Lord Voldemort has returned. Imagine fucking simping this hard, man. Imagine caring this much about... about like, like, to just, to just fucking throat this dude the entirety of your life. I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't help. Doesn't that, isn't that exactly Sears' bid here? I think they'd find Yeah, no, it's like, it, just an Andrew Tate follower. It, it's exactly like Aiden Ross, man, just waiting. Aiden Ross and Sneeko. He's out. Justice has been delivered. You know what that means, right? He's back to give base to take some. <laughs> he could fuck anyone if he wanted to. He just doesn't want to. He and Tristan are busy building an empire. <laughs> and I'm missing a prison. I'll be welcome back like a hero. Perhaps. I'll be welcomed on to kick like a hero. <laughs> Percy, I've never had much time for heroes. They're going to clip me giving hate speech. <laughs> on Rumble, it will trend. Attack as Calm down. <laughs> Can I say one thing? Seer, have a seat. Please. Oh, that's so <laughs> fucking no, please, funny. Please have a seat. I'm done listening to you and your rules. Please have a seat. We're gonna listen to this guy? Why did we become Sylvester Stallone? It's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get it! Hey, have a seat. Oh my god. And still, fuck your mom! Sit down. He's got a gun! Sit down. Oh, I need someone else's mom. All right, whatever. Emily. <laughs> do you trust me? Adrian! Do you trust me? Uh, sure! Okay, come with me. Okay. S-Fan. Let me 
to tell you something. Yeah. I am the first officer. So that means it's not you. And I know. <laughs> Look at how Nick is holding this fucking gun. Oh, finger on the trigger. He's like cupping it gingerly like a fucking fat sack of nads. Who it is. Wait, what if you're lying? I'm not lying. Let me, let me tell you something. Sir? You've all lost your mind. As the first officer. Break out the green lines. Break out the green lines here. Eyes casted down. Cock shame. Also covering the cock with the gun itself. Compensating for perhaps impotence of some kind. S fan, cock facing the world. Calm, relaxed position, leaning back, forcing Seer to lean in. Eyes down, shameful gaze. Cock shame. Important. Cock facing the world, confident, upward gaze. Did I bother you? Okay. I know some things. The reason I cleared Emily after the first night because I inspected you when you were sleeping. In my room? In your room. <laughs> Without my... Knowledge? Without your knowledge. Okay. It turns out, you were innocent. So you believe me. I okay. believe you. Okay. And I also... Inspected one more person who is with us right now. And I know we'll get you the authority to get us back us when we're sleeping. Mix it. You have you're gonna die. You're gonna die. I'll pull this trigger. Like, I'll pull it. Stop. I swear to God. Uh oh. I'm not gonna grab it because I'm not a. <laughs> the thing is that, like, I can see this happening IRL. Like, some fucking tried and true ultra mega Texan with the Walmart body drops his firearm. Excuse me, sir! You dropped your gat! <laughs> Meal Team 6. I'm talking to a dude that's rotund, do you know? I heard Train watch this and thinks Hassan did it. Fucking Hassan and Pokimane. These PG-13 streamers always trying to find a way to grandstand this bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Trying to act like I murdered someone. Why? Hmm? Because I've been paid a hundred million dollars to promote gambling? You know what? We gamble every day when we go outside. Somehow, my gambling's the problem. You think driving isn't a gamble? Act like you're against gambling. Going live on Twitch is a gamble. Then we're going to see you? Not on kick. Going live on Twitch, that's a gamble. We're we'll talk about the real gambling. These fucking PG-13 streamers want to grandstand gambling. They fucking sit at their desk. Not even trying to build a system. <laughs> Every time your heart beats, it could be pushing a fucking clot of blood closer and closer to your prefrontal cortex. You think every heartbeat isn't a gamble? So, so what, bro? Yeah, I've been paid hundreds of millions of dollars to promote gambling. And the only company that would do that is a company that knows reasonably that I'm bringing even more money back under them with gambling losses. But so what? Fucking PG-13 streamers grandstanding. Acting like they're any better. When you know what they're like behind closed doors, so what? That I, facing the world, decide to defraud and exploit my audience for hundreds of millions of dollars. So what? A killer. Whee! 
Yo, yo, yo. I don't want any problems. Crumble <laughs> that. He says that, like, any gambler ever has gambled because they think mathematically they're going to win. Every gambler's like, yeah, I'll probably lose, but what if I win? That's why people do it, dog. <gasps> the last person I inspected. But let's align our actions, all right, with our words. How about that? Is. Seer. <gasps> and he... It's like, yeah, but when your words fucking suck, man, <laughs> let's not act like you won. <laughs> I'd rather people have uh, whatever, like like not be acting and at least be promoting a good thing than be promoting a bad thing and acting in a bad way. <laughs> Is not the killer. <gasps> oh! You know what I love about this? The first officer is actually me. And you are lying to Emily and to Seer and throwing a whole ruse to try and point me out whenever you- Did s -Fan just Michael scar this whole fucking scene? Did he just say fuck you and fuck your plan? <laughs> He's like, fuck your whole bit. I've got the gun now. You have been trying to leave the game from the beginning because you are the killer. You're all out of luck, Bucko. You got a one-trip tip down to hell now. <laughs> I am so confident in my fellow crewmates to make the decision. Ah. I say they choose between me and you. Okay. Go ahead, Emily. Your guys' vote. What are you doing? Who do you think it is? I'm posing for okay. a, yeah. S-Fan, come next to me, buddy. Oh, I'd love that. It I'll is what? up to them to choose. I have given them all the information that they need, and I believe that they will make the right choice. I'm gonna tell you something, and you need to listen closely. I've had a lot of combat experience. Even if you pointed that at me, you better pull that trigger fast as fuck, girl, because you only got one shot. He was right, I am the medic. That what? leaves s Fan as the guilty member. Go up and squeeze the trigger. Save the ship. No, I'm the first time. I'm the first officer. Fucking you are as fan, right? Yes. You have a root canal. I have a root canal. There's no way he can be bad. Do I trust you? Hey, hey, remember, somebody's got to land this thing. Keep that in mind. He is the pilot. I gave you all the information. Chat's got to spin the wheel. Information you need to know. <laughs> so, I'm. Do you know what Twitch is? So I'm. I'm on Twitch, and I do this funny little IRL challenge where if my stream spins a wheel, and it lands on point a gun at a stranger. I have to do it. Is it okay if I point a gun at you? <laughs> Some fucking just just dense d d wandering merchant. <laughs> sure, I mean, you're not gonna pull the trigger, are you? <laughs> no. Okay. You do have all the. You're making a massive mistake. Yo. If you do this, the whole purpose of our entire mission out here, Operation Just 63, 4, 5, Sector 12, completely, all of this falls apart. Okay. You deserve it. Oh, dear. Why is this True Shakespearean. Oh, good. Oh, oh. And he deserved it, too. <laughs> he was the imposter! Like I said. Yay! Oh, my God. Stick it on him like the bad man that he is. Yay, we you know win! What? Paladins suck. <gasps> Nick plays one. Come on, get a kick in. Use that hit. <gasps>
really good video, man. They did a great job. That's honestly fucking astounding just how well they pulled that off, man. What a fucking W. What a win. What a win. That's cool, man. They got Emmy on being imposter fucking quick. Oh, she's too fucking quiet. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> oh, man. You should watch more OTK videos. I do that pretty frequently. I like to dabble in and out. Um, also, like, I think people are going to keep spamming the um, lawsuit thing on LSF right now. P probably best... I don't address that, given I don't know anything about it, correct? Um, so that's that. Lawsuit? Yeah, me. Uh, so um, your mom says that I need to get around to paying child support for the many years of, of, of being a woefully absent father. Um... And uh, it's something that, while I understand her stance, um, you know, I just, uh, I, I, I don't respect you enough to believe that you could be my child, and that's a big, that's a big deal. Um, so I'm going to need to see some paperwork, all right? Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Um... All right, no, I'm not. That's a fucking lie. That's just a dirty fucking lie, chat. Um, I don't know how to feel now. Um, don't cry because it's over, you know? Smile because it happened, chat. That's what matters. Um, that makes sense. Smile because it happened. What's over? Um, well, I mean, your relationship with me as a father. As a friend, though, we can figure it out. I'm just not going to pay for your fucking summer camp or anything. All right? Just say hi, wake, you know? Thought you were ending stream? No, not yet. Not yet. Can I call you daddy? Uh, preferred. Preferred. I thought you said you were leaving for cigarettes four years ago. Finally got them. I just have prop cigarettes everywhere, man. I just got them everywhere. <laughs> we are not friends. I'm going to go full. I, I'm going to promote parasocial relationships. How about that, chat? I'm going to lift them up. I'm going to say, you know what? Keep going with that. Be parasocial. Be parasocial. It's all real. All right? I am your real friend. And I am more of a friend the more money you get me. How about that? Master has presented Dobby with Balenciaga. <laughs> Dobby is free. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a uh, fucking Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> this has to be. This has to be a Balenciaga ad, right? There's some who hold it against. You fucking railed this Hagrid. Balenciaga, but they're not worth bothering with. <laughs> Ron! It's Balenciaga, not Balenciaga. What's life without a little Balenciaga? Who's this Snape? Serious? Who is that? What the fuck are you? Is that Neville? Balenciaga is my past, my present, my future. All the off oh, this fucking cunt, man. Oh fuck. There are few characters more deplorable than Dolores Umbridge, man. That fucking stone-cold witch, man. 
absolute fucking, uh, I mean, just a fucking heart of stone. No more fucking suit-coated fucking villain under the sun, man. A true demon. Balenciaga. After all this time, always. Vingardium Balenciaga. What in the fuck is this? Make fashion, not world. We are Balenciaga. World leaders by Balenciaga. They're not nailing that. Most are there more of these? These are fucking insane. Harry Potter by Balenciaga. Mario I once sought balance with Balenciaga. Parallel designs. <laughs> Versace strong like Hulk, Valencia. That one sucks. But some of these are insane. Metal Gear Solid. The military Metal facility Gear. at Shadow Moses has become a front for crimes against fashion. Snake, stop Metal Gear for Balenciaga. Right, what's this? What's this? <laughs> Oh God, I've seen this a million times. As much as I hate to 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 just eject from that, this is the guy. Who Master has good presented ones. Dobby. You are Balenciaga, Harry. No, oh, yeah. So he made the Breaking Bad just... one too. Wait, wait, wait. As a live action sitcom, fuck, that's weird. Jesse, we need to produce. Streamers by Balenciaga. No shot. You know me, Chad. I got that drip. I'm dripped out of the wazoo. I got that Balenciaga. One thousand stones, dude. No joke. That balloon. This just looks like um the fucking uh Apex streamer. What's his name again? Um it's not Timmy. It's uh fuck. Who is it? ACU, yeah. And Siaga. One thousand stones, dude. No joke. Dr. Pepper, what is that? <laughs> Balenciaga is the way you know it, I know it, everyone knows it. Imagine Asmongold Balenciaga, dude. There's no greater juxtaposition. At least X is enough of like a, a fucking hype beast, you know. It, it just zoom, like, like he has rotted his brain to Zoomer soup uh, with all the TikTok he's pummeled himself with. Asmon. This is sacrilege. Balenciaga is the way you know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. Fuck, man. Ain't no way anything is better than Balenciaga. They did not nail this. <laughs> Smash. You cannot escape Balenciaga, just like you. <laughs> looks like Zerka, man. That doesn't look like Assad. This looks like John Zerka. <laughs> you cannot escape capitalism. This doesn't look anything like Assad, man. What do I even look at it? Why are they all so skinny? That's what models do, man. Why are they going for the cock zoom? It looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. What are they doing? What is this fucking nightmare? He just looks like a poorly dressed Disneyland dad with a cape. face that looks like the uh fucking uh it looks like it's made of butter have you guys ever seen that fucking uh ted cruz tweet <laughs> why 
Wow, a cow made of butter. My girls will love it. In fact, the first sentence Caroline ever said was, I like butter. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this absolute fucking cyborg. This fucking feeble attempt at replicating the human experience. This is this was a chat GPT prototype. What a fucking what a fucking strange, cryptic, disconnected sentence. My girls would love it. In fact, the first sentence Caroline ever said was, I like butter. Do you approve of this relatable narrative? The daughter that I most certainly have? The sentence she most definitely speaks in? Her second sentence was, I like butter. Her third sentence was, I like butter. Her fourth sentence was, I like butter. Her fifth sentence was, I like butter. Her sixth sentence was, I like butter. Her seventh sentence was, I like butter. Her eighth sentence was, I like butter. Her ninth sentence was, I like butter. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Just the most hollow. Oh my god. I love Hispanics. <laughs> Just finds the most fucking vile assembly of loosely, loosely Latin food. The closest thing the dude gets to what he thinks Latin American culture is. Which is a fucking deep fried flour bowl of salad and ground beef. I love Hispanics. <laughs> Imagine doing that and still winning the presidency. You know that there's like true causal relationships being built where he's like, well, the Hispanics loved it. <laughs> well, what, 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 what do you think? Hold on. What do you think? Should we do the taco bowl again? I think we pull out the taco bowl. It could really get us out of this. <laughs> Little pimp. <laughs> oh, God. Dude said, I love Hispanics, and got got a pretty solid Hispanic vote in. Hispanics are unironically more conservative. Well, they're more religious, for sure. I mean, like, that that's a huge... That's a huge part of what informs that vote is Catholicism, culturally. Um... That and I think that uh, conservative ideals represent the American dream more to those who are aspiring, you know? Um, fuck Ted Cruz alien dude, yes. Balenciaga is simply statuesque. Doesn't look anything like Hassan. Hassan is serving minimalism. Stranger Things by Balenciaga. The Simpsons, Balenciaga. Star Wars by Balenciaga. YouTubers by Balenciaga. Who do they even use for that? How's it going, bros? My name is Balenciaga Pie. I don't know these fucking people. Balenciaga, my name is Markiplier. Markiplier is one of the best voices under the fucking sun, dude. That dude has such a fucking smooth, buttery baritone. It's like he speaks at the right decibel to stimulate the clitoris at all times. Dude is too hot. Whoever takes off their Balenciaga last wins $10 billion. There are so many of these. These are weird as fuck, man. Bowl cuts are fashion. Yeah, that's what I'm going to get into. Everyone's trying to hop on this. Everyone. Look at this shit. Yeah, the Harry Potter ones are really funny, man. Where's the first one? This Monsters. is number two, but where was number one? So... Let me show you how to make these viral Balenciaga AI anim- 
Where was the first Harry Potter by Balenciaga? Does anyone have it? I only have number two. Master has presented Dobby with Balenciaga. Do That's so funny to me. You are Balenciaga, Harry. Oh, here we go. You are Balenciaga, Harry. What is the difference, Potter, between H and M and Balenciaga? <laughs> the model Dobby look is so fucking dis disconcerting, man. After all, to the well organized. Because, like, I I'd fuck Dobby. Mind, Balenciaga is but the next great adventure. And then they ruin it with this humanoid shift. You'll soon find out that some fashion is better than other, Potter. There is no good and evil. There is only Balenciaga, and those too weak to seek it. Avada Balenciaga. I think a really the 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 fucking what's it called one's great too, man. Um, wait, how was the Star Wars by Balenciaga? Did this one turn out well? Balenciaga, you are Balenciaga, Luke. <laughs> Fashion is so pompous. It's so, like, just the whole high society aura it's meant to emanate is so insufferably self-important. I hate to be a buzzkill. Nothing is less important than fashion. Nothing. That is the epitome of luxury. Outside of the ways people, like, it's cool to, like, make shit for yourself, throw it on. I would, I would absolutely rail C-3PO, dude. What's going on here? Fashion is a powerful ally. With Balenciaga's help, you can defeat the dark side in style. I find your lack of style disturbing. Balenciaga's Star Wars collection will rectify this. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> No, am I Chewbacca, man? Oh, fuck. He's got the caveman brow and everything. Did he Java? Help me, Balenciaga. You're my only hope for a killer outfit. Wait, I promise you, you're going to see this on a Fox News story being totally misattributed to some kind of, uh, a, you know, fucking white oppression hate crime. <laughs> it's got to happen. It's got to happen. They're going to use this. Star Wars is doing a reboot where it seems as if everyone is meant to evoke some kind of woke politics. Jabba the Hutt, a prolific slaver, won't be keeping slaves anymore. Help me, Balenciaga. You're my only hope for a killer outfit. What then do they do with the story? What then do they do with sexy Slave Leia? A cultural touchstone for many young, horny men. Men who they've waged a war on by eliminating all of the sexual outlets they may have once had. <laughs> it's just the same face. <laughs> 
What does woke mean? Well, you know what woke means. Anything I don't like. Misa no like in Dark Side, but Misa really like in Balenciaga's Star Wars collection. This one's pretty solid. You got a shitty little. You got Lando. You are Balenci. You are Balenciaga, Harry. Yes, this one's good too. We need to produce more Balenciaga. Clearly his taste in women is the same as his taste in fashion. Who's this one meant to be? Is this meant to be Saul? Is this Saul? No. Only the very best, with just the right amount of dirty. What a fucking strange and haunting image this is. Skylar. Dude, Skylar is the most... Unjustifiably vilified character in all of television who I, despite the absence of justification, fucking hate. Let your husband cook meth, you fucking self righteous bitch. Let him cook. Can I DM you a thumbs up real quick? Okay. I'm aware. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> what, Junior? I'm not buying Balenciaga, Skyler. I am Balenciaga. A guy goes into the boutique and buys Balenciaga and you- Completely right and justified, but no story has ever made me root for a fucking monster drug lord more than this this fucking series. Be like, Walt, this is getting out of hand. It's like, no, man. You think that of me? This is- it. She, it... No, I am the one who sells. <laughs> Fuck. Shut the fuck up and let me wear it in peace. <laughs> yeah, Balenciaga, bitch. It's the smoothest skin I've ever seen in my life. Half of these are going over my head. Yeah, that's why I wanted to actually rewatch that one because I was like, what am I? Who are they? the fuck did I miss? It's so fucking weird, man. Fun, though. God, look at this fucking automaton. <laughs> fucking Grayson Allen looking motherfucker, man. This is the single most vacant gaze I've ever seen. In the sentence, wow, a cow made of butter. My girls would love it. In fact, the first sentence Caroline ever said was, I like butter. Remember that I have a human family with human children? They are mine, for I made them. Not in my womb, but maybe in her womb. Who's she? Well, of course, the broodmare. The queen. The ruler of the hive mind. In her womb. No, he's just an establishment shill like all, like most politicians are. With very few exceptions, dude. It's all so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. We got to get into some shit. Uh, watch Jideon's new video. Dude, I have never seen a Jideon video. Like, just straight up. I don't even know what Jideon does. What does he do? I love Wake at Night after I wake up. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm thinking of switching to noon, man. Burger Gate is exactly like Baldur's Gate. 
Burger Gate was me explaining why I ate the food I ate on the stream I was on. That was what I did. Um, why are you saying please? Please what? Please what? Damn it. Uh, Polyphia? Yeah, I know Polyphia. They're fucking sick. My sleep schedule's begging you. Please don't stream at noon. See? This is the this is the beef, man, is that I've got my audience late. You know? I've got my late audience. You and I were destined to be best friends like we Miz got banned for watching a banned streamer's YouTube bid. Hassan uh, does it five times long and nothing. Well, here's what you got to know is that um, so it essentially takes coordinated efforts to get streamers banned in most instances. So it's typically um, people who have like a certain degree of contempt kind of mobilize against someone. Now, Hassan has a lot of haters, but Mizkif has very coordinated haters who run in like active schemes to fuck him. Um... It's it's different though. Like they're gonna go to like the ends of the earth to ensure that they get people down. There there's like active like I mean like they like delegate labor amongst themselves to report him in the same way. And here's the thing though, I think that Hassan has a desensitized um approach to it only because he's so incendiary on the basis of the kind of content he makes being largely political, right? Whereas Miz isn't. So I feel as if they probably have some kind of flag for Hassan that they might not apply into others. You know what I mean? That's my guess. Why am I getting XQCLs? Are we like, don't forget my juicer, who also gets banned all the time? Does he even get banned? I don't feel like any of these streamers really get banned, dude. I feel like everyone just gets little slaps on the wrist, and that's it. They're like, nope. You have to sit out for three days, and then they go and they finally catch up on all the things they've been denying themselves, like sleep and food and talking to friends and family, and then they go back to streaming to twice as many viewers. Except the dog. Stupid fucking sticks, man. Stupid fucking sticks. Brutal. Uh, Censor TV banning Hassan was so ironically funny. Wait, what happened? Who banned Hassan? I didn't even know that. If you think Twitch will ever be consistent with their bans, you're tripping. Well, they're not. It, it, look, yo, CEO of Wake Wilder. Who the fuck were you at? So, who? What is this? Wait, you created this? Oh, never mind. You changed your name. Fuck. I was going to say, that's so weird to me. I forget you changed that. Should we VIP CEO of Wake Wilder? Yeah, we're going to do it. All right, he's in. He's in. And I deserve VIP more? Wait, what do you mean it's not him? His name is CEO of Wake Wilder. How is it? How is? How do I know it's not the real one? Type in chat, CEO of Wake Wilder. Type in chat. Hold on. Oh, yep, it is him. What do you mean? That's the real one. When do you get the stream key? Well, I got to send you over my social security number and everything so you can, uh, you know, reroute payments. Um... No, it's not the CEO of Amaranth. The CEO of Amaranth is already a mod in my channel. CEO of Wake Wilder is to demonstrate piety first, all right? Uh, a Matt Walsh editor DMCA strike to Son while back for reacting to content that everyone else is reacting to. Oh, sure, that makes sense. So that's what it takes. So typically, for someone to get banned for doing something... Um, they have to get reported to... So this is how it works for DMCA takedowns. Is that someone has to contact the legal team responsible for that media. So in order for... And then they have to contact Twitch. So when it comes to, like, Miz getting banned, the only way Miz would get banned for something is if people are, like, mobilizing by, like, getting in contact with the legal team for the media properties reacting to or something like that. Cherry vanilla based. Do you want to know what's more based, dude? Um, is fucking ch um, orange vanilla. Orange vanilla Coke is weirdly fucking great. 
it's so weird seeing yourself with a soda like in frame like it looks so small like it just looks like it's it's like small in your hand i guess it's just a weird thing because like you never see it like this like in context is it cold now nah. i mean it's kind of cold because it's cold in my room i don't love dr pepper man I don't have, like, that big of hands, though. I mean, they're big, but not, like, you know, Andre. I bet that soda has a good personality. Nah, it's just all girth, man. Is that uh, Cherry Vanilla Coke Zero? Yeah. All of it is, man. Lukewarm beverages? No, it's cold. I mean, like, it is cold. Like, it's cold to the touch. It's just cold in my room right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, compared to your hog, it's tiny. Yeah, it's all about the girth or so I've heard. No, only for people who love girth. Guys, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta respect preference there a little bit, team. You're all, you're all caught up in this. Some people want girth, some people don't. Some people just want a fucking, you know, like a, like a fire poker, you know? Just goes right to the back. Uh, okay, so room temp water is better for hydration. I don't know if it's better for hydration, but it's easier to drink a lot of. I prefer I prefer room temp water for that reason. I can fucking crush it. You know what I mean? Um, outside of that, I don't care. Oh, shit. You want to know what we can always do? Cock size Jubilee video? Should we look at that? I feel like it's going to be insufferable. But is that what the people want? We can do the cock size Jubilee video, or we could do an uwu fufu and rank some songs, or do some Twitch lore. Unless we have something that's going to send me on, like, a long-winded tangent. Because we can do that. I can also people talk. I mean, we can get into the shit and talk about our... our cock size tier list. Do you want me to rank streamers by cock size? I do OMAD. Does Ring Diet Sodas technically break a fast? No. Not at all. I also don't recommend OMAD, by the way. I think it's pretty adjacent to an eating disorder. Smasher Pass Pokemon. Um, I just think it's... Like, Smasher Pass Pokemon isn't all that interesting. Um, only because I think that just about any reasonable person is fucking every Pokemon. Um, and so those who say that, like, it's like sitting there and go... It's just not... It's like we already know. You know? We already know. Pass Slow King. You're not fucking Slow King. You're not getting that slow blow. You're not getting that 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 slow and steady grind. Are you kidding me? It's got two mouths. Cause it's got that other thing on its tail. It's a threesome. You're not you're not smashing. You fucking idiot. Um Isn't Smash Pass Pokemon basically saying I'm a furry, hear me roar? No. No. Furries fuck anthropomorphic animals so animals that look like humans um people who fuck pokemon are just fucking imaginary animals it's very different it's saying i am fucking animals which is way different way way different what about mr mime yeah i know you fuck mr mime um what do you think about the calorie counting i feel like i can barely eat what do you mean I think calorie counting is fine. Uh, it helps you get a good idea of, like, portioning, but I think a lot of people can, like, underestimate how much they should be consuming. As long as you're really counting, you should be good. Yeah, they're a thousand years old. Wait, wrong DJ excuse. <laughs> dude, nothing is more, uh, more, more, uh, oh, dude, if you think that Pokemon Fleshlights haven't been custom made, dog, you are new here. You are new to the internet. You are brand new. Yeah, anything involving, um, let me see Markiplier Smasher Pass. Yeah, it's so good, man. But that's because Markiplier is so good, you know? Yo, wait, do you feel feelings of jealousy when you see an 18-year-old stream for a week and get partner and you're working hard, putting in the hours and haven't gotten it yet? How do you deal with I don't even feel like it's unfair. I wouldn't, I, look, you can't sit here and, like, covet other people's successes, ever. Um... The concept of partner is very ornamental, you know? Like, it, it doesn't do a lot for you. Um, I just don't think it's all that important, frankly. I Don't get me wrong. Like, I, it's nice to be recognized, but it's really just recognition at its core. It doesn't offer any new benefit. Um, 
And so if you think like I have any issue with like Mar, for instance, you couldn't be further from from the case. Like she's a good streamer. She 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 got an awesome fucking like like she was given like a platform and capitalized on it and has held it by being engaging and like continuing to like she seemed to have absorbed everything she could from the many streamers that like I'm lucky enough to learn from as well. And she delivered, you know? Um, I think like a strong confluence of a lot of what she saw was working really well. She's off to a super hot start. She's a good streamer. You know, um, no Twitch. I don't care if Twitch is trying to screw me. I, 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 I just like going live, dude. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking pinch pennies for the rest of my fucking life. Um, I like this platform. I like what it offers me. I'm not gonna go to a platform that subsidizes my earnings uh, via the gambling losses of my community. I'm not gonna create new addicts to fucking line my pockets and enrich myself. Um, I love streaming, and this is to me. Um, the de facto streaming platform. And I'm going to continue to grow like my YouTube presence and things of that nature, but I'm committed to streaming on Twitch and seeing to its growth because it's provided a lot of good to me. Um, I make more money here than I'd make on Kick, um, 100%, even with the same sub count, which I wouldn't be able to make over there by new. Nice. Yeah, I eat about 3,000 calories as well. Um, healthy food is insane. Um, I love being here, man. Do you think having a loyal fan base or viewers is uh, better than having big and consistent numbers? Yeah, of course. I don't have any interest in being, like, a big event streamer or anything, man. Like, I, I don't want to ride those highs. Like, I, I really like being here. I love my audience. I love the depth of discourse I get to have. I like that you guys are, are, are down for whatever it is I really present. And I like that this has become kind of like a consistent, um, you know, back-and-forth dialogue between me and everyone who congregates here, you know? Um, it makes me feel as if I'm forging a community of like minds that support one another in some regard. It's 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 a total win. I'm saying, huh, because you implied being a weirdo who follows toddlers would be better than furries. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Um, so no, I, I love I love where I am. Do you think it's realistic to eat chicken, rice, and broccoli three times a day, seven times a week? No. You should have some red meat meals, some whey protein meals. Like I make like a whey protein frozen yogurt thing, you know? That's fucking astounding dude you don't have to eat dog shit you know don't you don't have to eat boring food eat food you like find a way to make it fit within your macronutrient profile and make sure you're not like allergic to them you know what i mean i wake i'm going to need you to be a 30k andy ceo of wake wilder here's the thing um i think that we're playing the long game is rice even that good for you it's that it's unoffensive rice doesn't typically bother digestion at all um i think we're going for the slow growth approach man I don't think I'm going to be at 30K Andy soon, but I think that we've got staying power, man. Um, I think that my community likes what I do. Um, and I think that I do something on Twitch that not a lot of people do, which is frankly like hold long form discourse with no real gimmick. Um, I think that like, you know, there's some other niches, but it's also like one of the only destinations I know that's like an apolitical long form people talk podcast. Um, do you know what I mean? Like that, I I really do think that we have kind of a unique niche there. Um, I think that like people like uh, Sweet Anita does something kind of similar that I really like. Um, but I think we're gonna keep growing. And um, your gimmick is uh, you a tease. Well, you clearly just don't have the cock cam link, man. Um, I don't know, man. I'm 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 just happy to see where things go. I like what I do, you know. Uh, as long as I can continue to collaborate and, like, show the other elements of my content and what I can do with friends, that'd be great. Um, you're not annoying as fuck. That'll take you far. Oh, well, some will agree, disagree. You and I were destined Do you have a thing for Mari? Like Wait, are. what is even happening? Why, why, why is Mar such a weird fucking... A weird fucking point of discourse on my channel. Like, people have created this such a bizarre narrative around her in my channel as if, like, I would have any resentment towards her ever. Like, no, I want I want people to do well in life, man. <laughs> I don't care. That's, like, a good thing. When people succeed, you should find a way to recognize that successes should be celebrated, you know, and that the more good fortune and, 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 and kindness you extend, the more you receive, you know? And it's really not that you should be focusing on receiving it, but it's that you realize that it feels good to feel good for people, you know? It feels good to celebrate love, you know, and, and achievement, you know? Um, 
The reason I don't like Mars because she's a fucking fake hack. All right, it has nothing to do with her being partner. It has everything to do with her being in, in, in every way an enemy of 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 the people. Um, you know. <laughs> uh man. <laughs> Yeah, the last thing you want to do is upset Snot Gang. <laughs> they roll deep. Uh, I think it's because Mar was bantering with Miz earlier today and weird chatters were misinterpreting when Miz said, why did you steal partner when Wake should have got it or something like that? Oh, yeah, well, Miz, Miz and I are in on that meme. Miz and I have memed a lot about it. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no joke. You're still recovering from Burger King? Dude, I had like two bites. I didn't even feel it. Honestly, it was great because I do legitimately have really aggressive uh, OCD around like food contamination and input and like a fear of it augmenting my capacity to like articulate or like be funny. And so approaching that and like having bites of food was actually kind of a big step forward for me because I'm very ritualistic. And the more I indulge ritual, the more it controls me. And so breaking out of that strategically is super important. Um, and so... I was really happy to do it. it. Doesn't have anything to do with like my body. Uh, there's no like dysmorphia there. There's no sense of like malcontent. It's like I'm afraid of streaming later and being fucked up from like food I don't normally eat. But it really did work. I was super happy about it. You see, Shroud got partner with you before you did that. I I almost never want to accept partner now just because of how funny that is. Should get a redacted boy burger. Oh, a Jew boy burger? You can say Jew. That's not bad. Are you also superstitious? Um, uh, obsessive and superstitious are different. Um, like, OCD is like, uh, like, I recognize that it's stupid, you know? I don't actually think it's real. It's like my mind can't not do it, you know? Um, because there's some kind of, like, deeply ingrained fear that I can't rationalize out of, you know, regardless of how hard I try. Um, good stream to get with NMP. Dude, I'm glad you guys like that. I thought that was super fun. Do you believe gut bacteria controls all our desires and actions? No, not at all. But I do think it augments it. Uh, Moist said he's going to give up his Twitch exclusive deal when his contract is up. Says it's better to be able to stream wherever you want and being a partner feels pointless now. Well, yeah, it is. 100%. Yeah, my hair's real, man. Um, Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, the 70 30 is not even that massive, you know? Why do you think they're holding on you? I don't care. What made you decide to ride a motorcycle from Alaska to Argentina? Um, my parents were dead. Um, I was in, uh, you know, with an abusive partner for a few years prior to that, and I think I just hit a point where I realized that um, I will never have less obligation, less people to report to, and, um, you know, more life ahead of me than I do right now at this moment. And the best thing I could do is charge as, uh, you know receptively and uncompromisingly into that as possible. So, you know... I had some friends who wanted to do that, um, that I had met, uh, and, uh, I decided let's, let's fucking give it a whirl. Did it cost a lot to do that? No, not at all. It was actually super cheap because, uh, my, my motorcycle was like a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. I have three older siblings. Yeah. Two half siblings, one full sibling. Um, my favorite city in Canada, U.S. and South America. Okay. So my favorite city in the U.S. is probably Valdez, Alaska. It is bar none the prettiest harbor city I've ever been to. It's idyllic, man. I slept on a fucking, um, you know, uh, it's not even a houseboat. It was just a sailboat with like a little cabin. Um, I slept there and uh, with some friends. Uh, this um, friend of mine from college lived there. She was super cool. And I would wake up and I would walk out of there and I would just see all of these fucking otters and like sea lions just like floating next to the boat, like right outside waterfalls careening down every fucking surface around you it's just like this green vibrant mossy almost like tropical environment in the summer it's so pretty um the salmon is delicious made our own like salmon nigiri rode around on boats hung out it was idyllic man it was like it was like playing stardew valley everyone kind of knew everyone it was just this small little harbor town where everyone spent time together um, I could have died there. That was one of the first times I ever felt that in my life where I was like, this is the ideal life. Like, fuck it, man. I'll work on a boat. Six months out of the year, I'll go fish. I'll come back here, live on that boat. Get a dog. My friend still lives out there, man. She fucking loves it. It was stunning. Stunning. Hang out with the Valdez Glacier. 
I don't know, man. It was just like, I, I really loved that environment. It was like so cozy and like communal. People were spending so much time together, you know? Um, you went on such a life and ended up back in Austin, Texas. I mean, you know, man, I mean, this is where I'm from. Um, and I came back here for, here's how a lot of life goes for people who aren't, who, who, who are younger or like have moved around a lot. A lot of times, um, so I came back briefly to Austin and then I found career opportunities in Austin. And then every time career opportunities wound, uh, kind of like dwindled, I'd find a new one in Austin or I'd meet someone I wanted to stick around for. Um, it wasn't really like I wanted to stay in Austin. I just kept finding new reasons not to leave, you know? Um, I've always wanted to live elsewhere. I thought it was bar none, one of the coolest places, on the, uh, one of the, one of the least interesting places, frankly. Um, but with that being said, um, you know, there are a lot of places I'd like to live, but, um, you know, had none of that happened, I, I wouldn't be a streamer, man. And this is the best job in the world. And I really hope I can make it such that I can kind of travel for a living. I think travel IRL would be really cool. I'd like to do big 30 day trips with like one month in between. Um, I think maybe that'd be a cool thing for 2024 is go like January out, February here, March out, April here. The only thing I don't, the only reason I don't want to do that is um, I don't want an IRL audience. You know what I mean? Like, that's the only thing that, like, because IRL viewers only show up for IRL, and I'd be afraid of, like, not building that appropriately. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I'd love to do IRL streams, but I don't want to build too much of an IRL audience where people don't hang out for my desktop streams. You know what I mean? No collabs? Well, you know, I would try to plan collabs for those. Um, But I really like... So this is the thing, is that, like, I think when I think of, like, an organic content model for myself, a confluence of travel and just chatting like this, me doing long-form chats, doing uh, impromptu podcasts, I would like to do podcasts with just, like, people out in the world, not, like, celebrities, but, like, I want to talk with someone who, like, strictly, like, I mean, like, more like an in-depth, like, documentary-style interview with, like, someone who makes ramen on a street corner, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, I think that shit would be really cool. Like, I want to do stuff like that, where I can, like, platform things that are, like, human and grounded and fun and, like, talk to depth about the things that I care about, you know? Um, and do both of those things simultaneously while being, like, a conduit for new experience, you know? And, like, showing people more parts of the world, um, you know? Uh, that's something that would mean a lot to me, you know, is to be, like, a, a conduit for, like, you know, like, communal, like, culturing in a way. Um, like you get to experience it with me in real time. I like that. However, um, the longitudinal nature of that content model is a bit concerning to me only because it's very expensive. And um, I really like having friends. And I don't want to fall out too far from this circle of people because um, I've grown a lot doing this, you know, because that would have been the easy thing for me to do right after Camp Canute because that's a very organic skill set for me to engage with, especially publicly. It's very earnest and like, you know, you just like say those, say the nice positive thing. And um, it's been way more fun to make, uh, you know, like come jokes and hang out with my friends and like build extended role play bits out. Um, that's something I think I really needed, you know, because it reminded me of like the person I am when I'm healthy. You know, when I'm at my very best, all I want to do is make jokes, you know. All I want to do is, like, meme and build out, like, long-form content concepts. That's it, you know? Um, could you survive without friends? Yeah. Um, I've done it before, but you make friends as you go, you know? But I love joking. Like, I do. And um, I don't want to go too far away from that. You know what I mean? Um, and that's how I feel, you know? It doesn't mean that... Um, Jenny TTY used to live with us. Friends very close to the UK. I feel like a lot more happened there, but I don't know. Uh, IRL, I'd feel would be sick because you're essentially just chatting like you do now. Yeah, it would be really cool. I mean, like, I feel like I could just ramble the entire time and, like, you know, kind of just, like, pontificate on things, you know? I feel like that'd be cool, you know? Um, but that being said, I, I think it has to be sparing. It has to be a treat. I don't want to obsess over that. You know what I mean? Um, it sounds like you want to watch the Jubilee cock size video. Yeah. Um, I'd really like to do it, but uh, do you think Squeaks will or Will would join OTK? I mean, if I were OTK, I'd prioritize Will because I think that he is a true titan of industry. I think he's one of the most talented streamers under the sun. 
Um, like, I, I, I don't think that there's, like, a more complete and compelling skill set in streaming than what Will Neff has, period. Um, and so if I were them, I would go with Will. Uh, and then I think Squeaks would be an immediate next. If I if I were OTK, I would probably be planning a Will and Squeaks uh, dual signing. Um, I think they're so fucking good. Will isn't a part of 100 Thieves, I don't think, is he? I thought that they dropped him. Will is it in OTK. They need one more girl? No, they don't. Arbitrary female signings doesn't... Like, if there's a girl that makes sense to sign who meshes well, 100%. I agree. I think it would be great to find that and prioritize that if possible. Okay, Austin Show isn't. Got it. Um, I'm away. I'm amazed Will didn't get on SNL. SNL is very competitive, and I think that there's a lot of um, nepotism underlying it. We are rooting for Senna or Bonnie. Senna could be great too. 100. percent She's really good. I think it'd be great. Yo, CEO in the house? Yo, what up, boys? Dropping the dub dance. Awesome, Will Nichols. Yo, what up, CEO? Welcome in, Holmes. Good to see you, man. CEO of CEO of Amaranth? Dude, this is getting too much. This is going so far. I'm going to fucking lose it. CEO just got off Doki. Dude, have you done Doki Doki before? That was such a sick playthrough for me, man. I adored it. Like, dude, I played it with no understanding of how it worked, and it was fucking astounding. Dude. Fucking, he messed up? Well, can't you only mess up in that game? He stopped mid that moment? What? He had no idea? Oh, no, you have so much. What are you doing? Fucking start your stream back up. He was shaking. Oh, fucking poor guy. He thought it was horny only. Dude, I did too. I did too. You know what I hate about it, man? CEO, I, I fucking blew my whole Doki Doki wad when I was like a 10 viewer Andy. I blew it as a 10 viewer Andy. It, and you can never replicate it again. I did my whole first untainted playthrough to like six people and it was so good start to finish vod don't have any of it man it's all dead it's all gone gone with the wind <sighs> gone with the wind alas i was there raf it was a good but i i was still like getting my bearing like i i hadn't quite learned to fly as a streamer you know it took me a while i'll tell you what the we the hardest thing i'm learning now is that i really did i'm so glad i had like a good like eight to twelve months of streaming before camp canute because i had no fucking clue what to do and even when camp canute happened man i knew nothing after like i just now kind of figured out how i stream and this is probably like gonna last just like two to four weeks where i've like really kind of settled into my own rhythm if you're not a viewer man going into streaming is it, dude it's like i just started like hanging out with people that spoke mandarin and then i was like you know what I'm going to write a book in Mandarin. And I had no fucking idea how to do it. Yeah, figured it out. Don't fucking, don't hurt me like that, man. Spam Joel, spam Joel, you motherfucker. God damn it. <laughs> like, that's how, that's kind of how it was. It was like all of my friends were, they spoke Mandarin and they were like, we think you'd be really good at speaking Mandarin. And then I was like, okay, I'll write a whole book in Mandarin. And I'm going to quit my job and just write this book in Mandarin. And uh, I just now kind of figured it out. Kind of. Holy shit, did my chat break? First found out about you at Destiny. I was visiting TwitchCon. And I saw you on Camp Kitty. Oh, hey, thanks, man. Yeah, I did see Destiny briefly. Chat froze. Weird. Now it's back. So strange. Yeah, man. I, I met Destiny there. Destiny was very kind. I liked him. Meeting Destiny was hilarious. Why was that hilarious? It was like very quick in the moment. And I didn't know him at all and I didn't want to linger because he was live. So I didn't really chat with him much, but really funny. Um, I liked him. When was that? That was at TwitchCon. 
his chat was spamming wait is that the giga chad guy mm-hmm. uh that's a lot of fish yeah it's big joel's man in chad version of destiny well that's all i heard for the first like stretch of stream it was either like like you know fucking hassan uh, or or you know destiny giga chad destiny or something like that but destiny is kind of a, dick, uh, a, a giga chad in and of itself you know also like says some uh, well i don't agree with him on everything but i i i respect enough of it to not take active issue with it um i respect uh you know the willingness to uh approach opposition indiscriminately Wait, what in the fuck is that? Squeaks in my Joel? Squeaks in my fish? Oh, God. <sighs> yep. And that's fair, Zen. I agree. It's like, uh, it, it, it's it's an odd thing where, like, I respect his willingness to engage with all opposition, but I also think it's, like, an optical weakness of his platform because he, like... on uh, just, 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 like by consequence of bringing people on, gives validity to their perspectives, even if he then goes on to dismantle them, you know? Some people might hear it and be like, oh, well. Oh my God, look, it's Wake and Zerka said something. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, once upon a time. It squeaks in my shit. Dude, how's Squeaks' stream been since he went home? Is he killing it? I don't catch anyone's streams anymore, man. I'm all I'm 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 just uh I'm just a streamer. I don't trust people who uh took their followers to kick a rumble shrug. Fair enough. I uh, certainly when it comes to uh, You're absolutely on Holy shit, shut up. When it comes to any of those platforms, I do take a fucking uh, very very legitimate issue with um, you know, Subjecting your audience to the uh, content there is like the cross pollination is the entire premise of the website, you know. Um, <laughs> wait, wake! I'm so hungry. What do I eat besides cock? Um, there's nothing other than cock. Puritanism? Wait, what do you mean puritanism? What about what about me as puritanical? Who's your favorite streamer and why is it E-Rob? That fucking scamming cock. You think he's my favorite streamer? You, you think? <laughs> I do actually love Eric. I, I, I do love Eric. He's fucking amazing. Uh, yo, Wake, opinion on Forzen? I'll be real, man. Um, I've seen like maybe like a hundred Forzen clips at this point, and I think I've heard about three words from him. One of the best streamers under the sun. It's not even close. We talk about efficiency. If we talk about efficiency, pretty fucking great. Um, but I think my favorite streamer is, am I a Mavs fan? Yeah, I am, unfortunately. Um, yo, wake opinion on anti-inflammatory diets. I think that there's a lot of like pseudoscience surrounding it, but if it actually does work for you and your digestion improves, great. Yo, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Mavs took a dive today. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fucking Chuck's half full can. I finished it. What do you mean? Yeah, but that means we might keep our pick this season, which is the entire premise. Yeah, we want we want our top 10 pick. That's huge. <laughs> Wait, just to follow up on that, I exclusively eat ibuprofen. Okay, yeah, base diet. Base diet. Yeah, no, the whole premise is to keep the picks, but knowing us, we're going to somehow lose the picks, re-sign Kid, and um, you know, have a worse team next year, botch Christian Wood, not get a big... And, um, you know, uh, drive out both Kyrie and Luca in one season. Uh. You see him said my boss uh, said this is what we we're doing, so I guess I agree. I'm a Knicks fan, so I'm praying on your downfall. Look, man. Who on the... Dude, fuck D-Wade. 
Fuck D Wade, Jeremy. Fuck D Wade. <laughs> yeah, I missed I miss him, man. I miss him, man. A new reason to love you? Thanks, man. Um Brunson looks pretty good. Mav oh, yeah, it's tough, dude. That's tough. Fuck D Wade. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh it's kind of tough. When it comes to uh when it comes to basketball, like I like talking about it, but I don't think I really have enough I don't know if I have enough like basketball viewer fans or basketball basketball like fan viewers to justify ever engaging with it, but I do like it. Like I like I could talk about it for hours like it. I think it's I think it's the best sport under the sun, especially cuz I didn't really play it, so it still has some magic to me, you know. Um, it's so good. Uh, it's the only sport I really do that. Will you issue a formal statement about young Jeff's acceptance in the partner program? Dude, I'm fucking ecstatic for Jeff. Now he never has to stream again. Can you dunk? Yeah, I can dunk. Yeah, I can fucking dunk, dude. Um, I used to be able to fucking throw down. One day we'll get it back. One day we'll get it back. I used to be able to fucking get, like, vert for windmills and shit. But it'd be fun to go back and try. Wake, just go on Maya's new show and you'll get partnered next week. Any way I could ever help LVS, I'd be ecstatic. Um, I'm 6'4". I would love to do that, man. Um, But I don't know Maya super duper well, so I don't know if... I don't know. I wouldn't even know how to, like, extend that offer to her. But if it would ever help her, of course. Um, I don't know if she would want that, though. You know what I mean? Um, she could, but, you know. Um, how much cock can we show right now? Asking what the swag rating is right now. I mean, you can show full cock. Full cock. Um, taller than Hassan. Hassan and I are, like, the same height. When Hassan and I met, we were, like, eye to eye. Is how it felt. So I'm not totally sure. But we, we're, we're, we're pretty much the exact same height. Nick could put in a good word to Maya for you. <laughs> Easy. <sighs> yeah, thank you. Grow up, guys. Can we grow up? Can we grow the fuck up? Please. Um, let me tell you something, man. At 28, you thinking, so, you know, like, growing up, you think, like, dunking is the ultimate achievement, and you're trying to, like, grab net and trying to grab rim, and you're like, man, if I could dunk, it would be so sick, and people would be like, fuck yeah, and they'd respect you. Um, so I can tell you, man, at 28, as someone who can dunk, um, it is absolutely correct. I have gotten more pussy dunking a basketball at a local park than you could imagine having. The amount of times people have sought me out thinking, who was the guy who just dunked on that double rim at the park by the Jimmy Johns? The amount of times women have sought my address out in white pages to just get a sniff of my dunking cock. If I told you, it would baffle you. It isn't even worth attempting to express it to you. If you can't dunk, you will never get laid. All right, anyways, if anyone wants to buy my 10-week uh, dunking program, um, links in bio, links in bio. Um, <laughs> what was Teenage Wake like? Probably a little more like jubilant. I don't know. I was pretty to myself. I had, like, one really close friend, and I loved sports, or not really. I mean, I wanted to, like, write and learn about film, and I, uh, I mean, I trained very hard for sports, and I obsessed over them because it was, like, a skill that I could progress, but I don't know. It's into books and video games, played World of Warcraft, hung out with my, my couple of friends, and I don't know. It was generally, uh, generally a, um you know, like an agreeable person. I didn't really have like a de facto friend group, just a few friends who I was, you know, close with and, you know, tried to be receptive to everyone I could be. Would you ever go on Destiny stream? Um, If there was ever a reason to. I don't want to go and like waste time though, you know? Like Destiny's pretty like, 
topic oriented and I don't really know what I'd want to discuss with him to be frank um my mission on her stream she welcomes friend of friend streamers to go out to Alveas for a day for streams she welcomes it as Russell he goes yeah I'd be happy to um did you go to college I did I did indeed keep your circle small I mean I've, I I keep my circle small by necessity man Like, I don't, I don't even know what, <sighs> yeah, I feel like we'd have a very dull conversation, you know, like it would be pretty grounded and it would be like 30 minutes and be like, all right, well, thanks, you know, um, I just don't have interest in that. I don't have interest in not delivering the content that he needs, you know what I mean? Um, and that's the important thing. Um, what did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, uh, shit. I can imagine Wake uh, not working at Alveus, but just sitting next to the foxes and he has a deep conversation with them. <laughs> Get them to reconsider whether or not they even want to be a fox, you know? You know what? I think I think I want to study finance. <laughs> I don't. What's what's this whole fox thing supposed to be about? <laughs> well, don't you think about it? I did always love the blues. <laughs> Tutti frutti, oh Rudy. Tutti frutti, oh Rudy. Oh, tutti frutti, oh Rudy. Then you convince Stompy that he's a she's a dino. <laughs> first time I watched your stream, you used the word plutocratic, and that's the first time I've heard that word used in a normal sentence. Well, it probably wasn't a normal sentence. It was probably a very long run-on sentence. Um, would you show? Would you ever react to the hoarders show? It's really emotional and satisfying. Did you see my card this morning? Do you think I want to fucking look in the mirror today, my dog? No. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh man, did you enjoy your in and peace, dude? I loved it. I the only thing is I get a little nervous when I go on Nick's stream still because um, I know Nick is so strategic, you know, and like if it doesn't go well, I'm afraid that we'll like never collab again, and I don't get to see Nick because he's always asleep uh, when I'm awake. <laughs> um, but I think it went well. I think it went well. I hope it went well because I adored it, man. Um. You should uh, see my office wake. Looks like a fucking warehouse that hasn't been emptied in years. That'd be great, man. It was great. I hope so. That's all I can hope for is that like when I go on Nick's stream, everyone has fun and uh, they want me to because I still get a little like, I still get a little like st stiff. I guess you know, like I really want to, uh, I really want to deliver good content for him because I don't because I because I'm just I'm so stiff. And he's like, take your fucking socks off, wake, and I'm like, why? So we can both feel a bit stiff. And he's like, yeah. And he's peeling his socks off. And I'm peeling my socks off. Now Milena says she's going to go to Norway. Neither of us heard it because we're both in a trance. Just looking at feet. <laughs> Get out of your own head. Just be yourself. Well, yeah, that's what I try to do. That's what I try to do. Don't get me wrong. Look, thank you for the forehead advice of just be yourself. I'm aware. That's That's what I do here. You know, I tell people to be themselves. Um, but when it comes to content, you really want to help deliver, right? Um, that's the whole goal for me is like, how can I deliver good content for them so that they really want to, uh, you know, continue, you know, like making fun stuff and like, it's cool to like learn how to do that. You know what I mean? Which is tough. <laughs> like, it's tough to like, when you're under pressure to deliver solid content to someone, you are less likely to access it. You know what I mean? Um, the more at ease you feel, the more likely you are to just be stream of consciousness. That's why the um, game days worked well for me. No, I'm very introverted. Um, my big thing is, like, I'm great. Uh, I mean, relatively. You know, I feel great. When I have the ability to just go you know, and I'm not worried about whether or not jokes are landing. Like me in my room just saying spitfire jokes like game day, that was super easy for me. Um, but I really enjoyed my time with uh, Nick um, and Milena. Like I just love shooting the shit with them. Um, and I really look forward to doing more of it because I, it's just so fun. Um, 
But again, it's like whether or not that's something that makes sense, uh, who knows. But I, I thought it went well. I think I could have been a little more loose and made more jokes. But honestly, part of that's just like I woke up like and went right to their house and like I'm just not on my A game yet, you know. Um, But I'm excited. And I love Nick. So if I can help Nick, great. But that's the big thing is like I also like Nick's just like done so much for me. Um, I really want to help him, you know? And so that's a big thing. Like, if I can deliver that value on his stream and, like, return the favor of all the opportunity he's helped, uh, you know, bring to me and the belief he's instilled in me, then I'm stoked. You know what I mean? Um, and look, man, however I can reciprocate that, you know? And, and, and I mean that. If that's me, like, training him, if that's me, um, you know, coming on the stream and really, like, you know, delivering great content that he benefits from, that's me taking my fucking socks off and coating him in oil. Right, right there, right there in the stream room. I'm fucking doing. Um, one day for Nick and Melania's stream, we should do a caveman kitchen style stream where you drove. You know what I would love to do with Nick? I'd like to uh, go out into the wilderness, have to start a fire, and cook a full meal with no tools, <laughs> and just like have Nick there. I think that would be the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> Like, could you just imagine Nick swatting at mosquitoes, being allergic to everything? It would be so funny. I think that would be the best Nick Pollum content I could imagine. You think he'd cry? I think he would do so well. Like, it, like, like, yeah, there'll be streamers in cars, and then this will be called streamers out of cars. <laughs> and the whole premise is that we're out in the fucking wilderness and we have to start a fire and cook a full meal, all right, before we can go home, all right? It'll be called competitive grass touching. What is this? Nick and Milena's Norway survival stream? Dude, I would love to do that with Nick, I w or with Will. I'd like to do it with Will, Nick, and Seer. I I really like those are like kindred spirits for me. Is that Wild West OTK thing still happening? I imagine so, but I'm definitely not on the docket for that. I think they're going for bit. I think that I think that there will be like a a real like that'll be like huge content creators. However, they're fucking missing out because I would role play my cock off, dude. I would fucking lose both nads in a saloon fight. Please tag along when they go to Norway next time. What in the no? I would hate I would feel so uncomfortable. What is that? They go to like connect with family. That's not for me. No. <laughs> Fucking I they're friends, but my god. What are we thinking? Nah, this already is way too many tools. I'm talking no tools. We have to fashion our own tools. Top to bottom. We go in there with nothing. Except a, a, a you know, a phone. If we want to cut something, we have to, like, make a blade. Can I have a fish? Mm-hmm. That'd be too hard. Yeah, but that'd be the fun. I don't think Nick has the stamina for that. I think that would be fun with, like, Extra Emily. Because Extra Emily would, like, push it. I feel like Nick would absolutely drop. Milena always talks about inviting people to Norway, but no one ever wants to go. If they ever invited me to Norway, I would go. But, like, I would also feel very weird about it. <laughs> He'd for sure do it with you? Yeah, that'd be cool. Do it, uh, do it a camping stream for a weekend. Make him go. He owes a camping stream. Take Will extra Emily. That'd be fun, man. That'd be super fun. <laughs> That'd be so fucking sick. I can't really see. I got. I got. I don't want to cut my. I could carry a survival stream, but you guys also like. I think you just see beard and caveman brow, and you're like, Wake could survive. I've never done any of that shit. Oh. 
I mean, like, I've pitched tents, I've started fires and stuff, you know, like, I've camped a lot, but, like, not without tools. I've never done survival stuff. I've just camped. Dude, is she about to fly this thing? Or flay it? Or is it already flayed? I'm super impressed if she's, like, cleaned. Oh, dude. We're insane. Yep. Hey, Hello. Yeah. Look at Nick, he's in a full jumpsuit. Hey, how's it going? Oh my god. Do you want these lights? What the fuck is the shit, man? Um, yeah, we can try it. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, nah. <laughs> it's flipping. Nah. It's still communicating like, you know, like, like, uh, electrical impulses nah. through its body. It's... Man. A little salt. What kind of fish is that? I don't know. It's a, it looks like a white fish of some kind. Like a cod of some kind? Oh, God. What was happening there? Okay. You know what? I think because she's putting a knife to this thing, we were thinking, wow, she really knows what she's doing. This is not that. Your run was awesome. Like, this this is not... Oh, it's Pollock? Okay, that makes sense. Okay, there we go. Look, it's a filet. So that one guy donated earlier and said that we shouldn't be eating fish from the ocean. Where else do they come from, man? Don't get me wrong. Like, there are definitely some implications, especially if it's, like, a carnivorous fish. But, like... Yeah, but even fish farms are, like, in the ocean, you know? Nick just... Yeah, Nick. Nick's trying to fucking redirect. Was he telling the truth? No. He said the Norwegian National Government... Yeah, she's doing fine. Man. You heard her laughing? She's laughing. Nick has put more artificial and preserved ingredients in his body than he could ever derive. I mean, like, like he could eat this same fish once a day, and it would certainly spare him... And it would spare his organs so much processing labor. Fucking at you for believing in that. But why would he donate that then? Why? Okay, use your brain. You see the the big cages out in the water, right? Mm -hmm. Why are the fish in the cages if people can't eat them? There's human beings in cages. You can't eat them. Oh, but that he wouldn't have five piece tenders, two large fries, two burgers, and spicy ketchup for lunch? That is such a vile order. I absolutely. Mr. Pooh? The fuck did you send me? <laughs> Fine. We'll add it. Why not? What? What is that logic? Why would they try to sell and, and make fish if you can't eat it? The guy said this specific fish is a bottom feeder and it's- <sighs> Mr. Pooh, so this was my, this was me at 20. I was 19 or 20 and I was brought, uh, and uh, a prank YouTuber called me Mr. Pooh in this skit. Um, and I just kind of like, yes, ended it. And like, I thought he was just some dude improving with me because I was at an improv troupe at the time. So it's like, fuck it. Let's just go with it. And, uh, that video went like kind of viral. I mean, they were like big YouTubers. Bad. Why Not the fuck are you believing randoms? Side, which you are, but you are also five head. Oh, live stream history. What is this dude? Also, what's up live stream history guys. Don't forget to check out the live stream history YouTube channel. Um, if you guys want to actually plug that, if someone can drop them there. 
Um, they have provided me with many days worth of content. So, infinite shout out to them. Yo, so synergistic. Show Thank you so much. Who is Jigakut? Jigakut? <laughs> oh my god. He has Pokemon cards there. What I love about Nick is that he won't try to water himself down or become more presentable for anyone. Not even his his partner's family. He has fucking Pokemon cards there to open. Dude's gonna fucking double down. Three different three different meals at once. It looks like a sub, a burger that was probably there at some point. Pepperoni, like like he's he's gonna do him. The dude is not in any way bending the knee to the pressures or imperatives of some kind of, you know, uh, gatekeeping parental figure. Because everyone is scampering to feed, protect you, and... Thank Yo, Synchistic, thank you for the five, dog. I appreciate that a lot. You have conned them all. Brilliant move. I can't believe they really... Nick has... He's Nick has done nothing. Genius. Are cooking his potatoes. Nick's done, holy like, shit, Anon with the 10! How many degrees? Set the fire to your degrees. Thank you so much, man. You could just tell the bite of that Pago Persoda. He's just a real Nick is Nick is probably one of the best friends. I I I I've I've Nick is Nick is a true, earnest, caring friend. I'm very lucky to know him. Very lucky to know him. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you for the Best ten, of friend. Yeah. I'm gonna repeat that. I'm very lucky to know him. Wow, what a great friend Nick is. Um. <laughs> um. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you ever think uh, Nick could suck the venom out for you? Oh. Yeah, no, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'm like a fucking champion. Thank you so much! Wow, what Best a great friend Nick is. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. <laughs> fucking meme. What a gigachad gladiator big IT Nick Bollum is. Please be next. <laughs> Nick certainly isn't in here. Gradually reputation laundering by giving money to those who uh, substantiate him, you know? You and Nick I would never. Yo, Sir Spoo, welcome like we are. Who are we kidding? Nick's asleep. Of course he's not here. <laughs> you know what? I can actually check right now. Nick's definitely asleep. Do you want to know how I know Nick's asleep? He's not why he's not playing Apex Legends. And if Nick's not playing Apex, he's asleep. Uh, if you were partnered yet, uh, and you will still, hey man, who knows, Lucas? It's all good though, man. Such is life. Uh, I don't think that uh, I, there are plenty of streamers getting partnered to like 75 viewers, man. I would not worry about it one fucking bit. No, man. Um, I uh, I do adore Nick. He's been such an uh, you know endlessly supportive and caring friend. Um, you know, uh, the only thing that's tough about him is uh. The, I, when he says his butthole's leaky, like, he does mean it. He's the only person I think you could medically prescribe a butt plug to. That's it. What is this? Okay. All right, here we go. It's time. All right. <laughs> You want to know what's funny? Um, no one can really hear what I said there, right? <laughs> I said America deserved 9-11, and he just lost it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. It's like... A... <laughs> One point five years, and he finally tasted it again. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, here we go. It's time. No, I just said fuck. That's good. Time. All right.
Yeah, Nick Nick was so happy to see that I'm human. I think that this was like a uh fuck man. Wait. What's the name of it's a Turing test. Is that what it is? This was his Turing test for me. He was like, does he feel deeply and intimately? Is this a human being? Am I friends with a human? Or is this some kind of fucking automaton? You know? <laughs> what will he feel? Like, this is like relief. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. It's like... <laughs> He's so, look at Valeta. Valeta's just like, I want to eat my fucking food. One point five years. Nick, it's so funny. <laughs> oh, God. finally tasted again. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. So I said this earlier, but do you want to know what I would have done? Um, if I knew about this, so so what I thought was that we were gonna eat at multiple restaurants, right? Um. I thought we were going to eat at like a ton of restaurants. So I was like, I'm only going to take a small bite of every burger or a bite of every burger. Cause I thought I was going to have like maybe like five or six burgers. And so at the end I would have like a full one. If I knew we were only going to eat two, what I would have done was immediately, I would have taken one bite of it. I would have said, fuck. I would have said, fuck. And I would have went on to try to put all of the burger in my mouth. That would have been my bit, but I didn't know. I didn't know that we were only going to one other spot. I thought we were going to fuck that burger up. I thought we were going to fuck a ton of burgers up, and I was going to, like, rank them or something. So that was that. That just means you'll have to do it again. Yeah, that would have been my bit, you know, had I known. But it's okay. Hungry after eating stream, edged by burgers. I just thought we were going to get a lot, so I, I was I was like, I don't want to blow my whole wad here and, like, not be able to, uh, you know, pull that off. Um, you know what I mean? I was hoping for more. I think a redo stream with a tier list would be great. Ah, who cares? I love Nick. If Nick is like, hey, a redo stream would be good content for me and I want to do that, that would, that would be a no-brainer. I'd do it in a heartbeat. I was almost good enough, Wake. You almost made him piss himself. I love Nick, man. I think the situation just made him piss himself, man. I don't think. I mean, he just thinks 9-11's really funny, you know? Redo stream every day. Wake wider. This is such a funny emote. I almost want to make it, like, an emote that I... Like, I, I almost want to make it an emote for this channel. <laughs> Do you have your normal diet anywhere? Oh, like what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, I could upload it. I get, I get, I can put it onto uh, my um, Discord uh, eventually. Exclamation point Discord, by the way, guys. Don't forget to join that. It is important. Watch this. I mean, really, it was just like a bomb of calories to like offset, uh, you yeah. know, like the bodily stress of a deficit, and it was just like full nutting every time I would have it, because I was doing like an hour of cardio every day, and then I would go, I would have this burger once a week. Wow. Look at this dude just having a very clear allergic reaction to his environment. And just, it was that warmth I was talking about every time, without fail. The whole body, it, it just it just in waves all the way to the fingertips. Really? It's like, I don't know what it feels like when women have orgasms, but I think it's like that. I don't know what it feels like either. I don't even know what it looks like. I don't know what it feels like either. <laughs> I, I really need you guys to know this, all right? The second I talked about, like, I went into the whole, I don't know what it's like for a woman to have an orgasm, was so she could say that line. I, like... Just wa just in waves, all the way to the fingertips. Really? It's like, I don't know what it feels like when women have orgasms, but I think... I wanted, I wanted her. I think it's like that. I was like, I wanted to throw the thong. I don't know what it feels like either. I don't even know what it looks like. I don't know what it feels like either. <laughs> I mean, really? Well, no, she has to know that the joke's there. What do you mean? She has to know that the she's so, she's so funny. I just, I, I'm trying to get content brained, all right? <laughs> That's it. 
Wait, what? What the fuck this is this? Stream. No, 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 it's like truly that. No, like wonderful being it. able to see no, 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 soulmates like, together like this. They, they, yeah, Nick being allergic to cleaning and wakes cups this stream. No. <laughs> Why is that that? Oh, man. Assistant play b-ball? No. She, uh, she knew what the joke was. I'm not even taking credit for it. The only part of the joke I actually wanted was to say, I don't even know what it looks like. And then she doubled down. I couldn't have set. I could not have set that up. All right, I couldn't have. That's the truth. We tried, God damn it, but we couldn't have been that good. <laughs> I just wanted to make a self-deprecating joke because I've learned that's the only thing streamers should be. Don't self-deprecating. Oh, don't make me watch this shit again. I already had the fucking. I already unfollowed her, man. I I can't fucking keep doing that. Call it a dub. Would you call it a dub? I call it a dub. Would you call it a dub? It's easy. It's easy. I don't know what you call that, but it's a dub. What up, Sojo? What? What up, Sojo? Oh Cringe. My God, what a Fuck, man. That's from two years ago. Dude, and look at this. All these dub dances. It's so bad, man. It's all fucking ruined. Uh, can we cancel her? Someone's got to manufacture something, man, because I can't look at that clip again. We need her to get fucking banned. <laughs> so I can't clip on that fucking thing. Mojito was watching her two years ago. Yeah, I think so. That would make sense. Dub dance. Yeah, probably. We live off cringe dub dance. Oh, God. Dude, I can't look at the uwu thing. I'm not going to do it. I've already... Do you know how many days I've fucking looked at the woohoo thing? Like, I can't fucking... I fucking can't. All right. I've seen the woohoo. I've seen the, the uwu Emily videos like six times over. Dirk. Like, you lose a part of yourself every time. What did I say? I said, fuck, that's good, man. The same affect. Fuck, that's good. I'll tell you what. Now that I've gotten this nice microphone, I really like going, like, what even is this? This is like ASMR mode or something. Where I just talk. I like this. Just right and I'm just in your mo I'm in your fucking mother's ear right now. I'm in her fucking ear like fucking I'm in your fucking girl's ear. Just playing corn. <laughs> Slicker started streaming and kick I saw that man. I look, I don't blame him. I imagine he's incredibly fucking bored. I couldn't imagine having this just vanish. I mean, I also couldn't imagine trying to, uh, you know, scam and defraud everyone in my immediate community. But to imagine it all disappearing like that, very difficult. Yeah, I just watched the Among Us video, actually. I cannot ask my chat to endure that again, but... <laughs> Yo... Oh, man, no, we couldn't. Slicker owes XQC and level $250,000. What's he doing? How do you think he's going to earn that money? He's going to have to yo-king that money. <laughs> and it's just an in, It's like an endless cycle. It's like a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> but with no payback. Not from us? No. No. Uh, can you react to uh, newest YouTube video with us? What is it? Hold on, I had to pee real quick, guys. Like Jordan Belfort? Yes, exactly. Yo, King. Just gonna cover, cover fucking, you know, the debt of his loans with other loans. Over and over again.
Holy shit, I'm like losing my balance, dude. That's just how fucked up I am. Why are you fucking wake widering, man? So what what burger does is we can have to go on fucking Nick stream and then still being a night streamer and like needing to still do your job after. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with the fucking two bites of burger. It has everything to do with that fucking insane normal human schedule the dude's on, man. I'll tell you what, not being on the normal human schedule fucking my life up. Nick's stream was today. No one will tell me, lol. I want to see the VOD. Yes, look at the VOD. It was a good stream. Everyone seemed to have liked it. And I'm hoping that's real, real feedback because, man, I love I love giving a solid stream to my homies. I May mean, interest you in a white can of Monster? I actually have so much. I have so, I have so much fucking caffeine around me. I could absolutely keep indulging. Um, but it is brutal. My whole goal for today is to make it to, um, hour, uh, five. That's my only job. Your car being a horrible mess is a great stream meme. Yeah, I, I kind of, so that was kind of my goal was like, I wanted to clean out my back seat enough so that Milena could sit. That was my sole objective. If I could pull that off, I was stoked. It was all for content. That's why my car's like that. There's no, it's not because, it's not because of my own neglect and act of decay. It's, it was for, uh, it's for the memes that I live in, 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 in fucking my own filth, you know, for the, for the memes. It's all from driving Nick around. That's why. If it weren't for if it weren't for driving Nick, I would. It's all his dandruff. Nothing wrong. This car really, besides every check engine light being on. Hey man, that actually is real. But there's a reason for that. By the way, was that your car or theirs? Oh, that was my car. That was my fucking car. Uh, it's a it's it's a glitch in 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 the actual like electronics of the auto like like I I took it to a mechanic. They tried to do everything they could to it, and there was nothing to be done. They said that it was probably some kind of malfunction with the gas cap um, sensor, but that it's fine either way. So, you know what? Who cares? Call it Nick's new Escalade. <laughs> yeah, man. Soda took the fucking Jeep back, man. R.I.P. R.I.P., man. Rest in fucking pieces, motherfucker. Hi, Mr. Wake. How do you stop yourself from eating out, like, fries and burgers? By being full on other food. It takes time and trial and error, but, like, you know, don't be afraid to, like, uh, if you can meaningfully utilize it. Like, utilize things like, uh, you know, burgers and fries in small doses. Please do it, you know? Uh, it's better to have that, uh, you know, uh, balance in your life than it is to just totally neglect it. You know what I mean? At least that's my take on the matter. Is that's what Twitch means when they say you react too much? <laughs> um, I doubt it. I'm not even reacting right now, man. I'm just talking with chat. If me talking with chat is reacting, then uh, this website is far gone, dog. <laughs> Counting uh, like calories with an app really helped me. Like yes, 100%. Are. I did the same thing. Uh, yo, Herndo, thank you so much for this. Up. Woo, 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 woo. Um, all right, let's see. Do we want to hmm, engaging with your community equals react? Yeah, I know, man. I know. Um, dude, you know what I really want to do? Do you think Vebe and Soda have used his giant barrel of lube as a dunk tank? I think that they just do fucking snail RP. They just coat themselves up in lube and just fucking slither around. Um, I think what we should do, you know what I really want to do is I want to play Detroit Become Human soon. Like, real bad. But I don't know when. 
Because, like, we finally have this this mic, and I do think it would go over well now. You know? Oh, man. I know it would be fun to play it, but I'm also so fucking tired today. Do you think it would be a good one to get started? Uh, hmm. It's been a while since I've played a game on stream. Should we do it, chat? Hmm. For 15 minutes, then quit. Yeah, man. I mean, that's how that's how this shit works. All right. That's how a Wake Wilder stream runs. All right. 15 minutes of gaming, and then I'll say, "All right, chat. Well, chat." And then I uh, sign us off, and then we uh, move on. That is the way of the stream. That is what Wake Wilder does. All right. And I think we're all well aware of it. Correct. That's us, baby. That's us. Um, hmm. Chat. You think we should? Okay, let's pull it. Pull. What do two minutes go in there? Get all up in that shit. Get all up in that fucking shit. Get messy with it. Really just lather around in that fucking thing. I want you to fucking lube yourself up head to toe. Wake really slid into that chair. Yeah, he did. He slid into that chair like he slid into your mom. With a lot of effort and a little extra lube. Yeah, my bottom half's wet. Because I'm all lubed up to sit into this chair. Like I slipped into your mom. Let me tell you something. Just Detroit. Looks like the 50-50 meme is dead. Fucking thank God. Fuck you guys. Detroit become come. Detroit be comes. Detroit come. <laughs> That's just Nick's biopic. Detroit come. Detroit comes. Detroit comes in human. Look at this fucking face. Look at this fucking gladiator. Look at him. Look at that fucking gladiator. All right, let's do it. If the audio thing's still happening, uh, we're just going to cut it. Deal chat? Nine times, dude. Nine times the gladiator. Six times the man. Is this a blind playthrough? Sure. Um, all right, where is it? 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 D D D. Oh fuck. I have to buy it again. I forgot I had returned it. Because I didn't think I would ever get this new microphone. That's okay. Let's get it real quick. We'll be fine. It's not enough. It's not 70. It's like 30 bucks. 40 bucks. Guys, I'm a millionaire streamer. All right. 
You returned a game? Well, um, because I bought Detroit to play on stream, um, the issue was that it was having this audio malfunction because I was using a USB mic, and I need to be using XLR or something for it to be able to stream. I don't know why. Dude, why is it that when I went to go buy it, fucking Steam started to not respond? What the fuck conspiracy is this against me becoming human? If you stream in Austin, you're a millionaire. Well, yeah, you know, and you're all in OTK. Oh, nice. I'm I'm in I'm a millionaire in OTK. I'm an OTK millionaire. One true millionaire. Remember? And never forget it, chat. My cock. Average. He said, hoping, yearning. Um, I was there when you bought it, returned it, tried to play it again after returning it, and now you're repurchasing. Yep, you've been there for the whole, uh, the whole gambit, start to finish. Did I figure out who the one true king was? Uh, it's Emmy. The one true king was Dito. They're kind of in a disarray thing, you know? A whole lot of uh, people trying to really set themselves up as the top dog. It's Jesus. Uh, Want to make some be viewers show your penis and get banned? When you come back, you'll get more viewers? Ah, oh, shit. Yo, wait, have you ever snowboarded? Yeah, man. I haven't snowboarded since I was like 18, though. It's Nick. Can I share my 800 pants fanfic? Uh, yes, please do. Look at this guy. He needs it. Dude, why isn't fucking Steam working? What in the fuck have I done? Oh, fuck me. Connecting Steam account. Is Steam just fucked up right now? Why are you on this monitor? Go to the other monitor, dude. What the fuck? That has never been my primary monitor. The fuck out. How do I make it stop, chat? Good evening. Shut Welcome up. to the Detroit experience. Video. Go to the other monitor. What the fuck is this shit? Your parameters have been saved. Shut up. Don't open on that other monitor again. It's gonna do it. Come on, Steam. Fuck! Hold on, what did chat say? Windows key, shift arrow. Nice! Thank you, guys. All right, let's do this shit. All right, chat. So what do I do? New story. How's my audio? Can you guys still hear me? Is everything good? Audio's fixed? Let's go, baby. Android. Nice. So I'm a I'm a robot here. Very nice with the hands. I'm assuming there's just a magnet there that would make all of this pointless. Nice. 70. Okay, we got a little vibrate. Adjust your tie. This is a default NPC. This is the Negotiator default player site. character. What in the Keep fuck? On site. Yeah, I am. Drop dong, brother. What do I do in here? Okay. Wow, I've never... Ooh. Stop! I, I, I can't leave her! Okay. I'm just gonna take a family portrait? Nice. I know all their names? Emma Phillips, 2028. Caroline Phillips, 2021? 2001? Holy shit, wait. No shot. How... What year is it? That chick can't be older than eight. It's got to be 36. Oh, fuck. Is that... I guess that's what... Oh, God. I'm going to be older than that, then. 
Okay, um, I'm trying to put it back. Why can't I? What the fuck's going on? Dude, it's not registering my fucking controller. What in the fuck? Yeah, I'm using right stick, dog. Oh, fuck. Kneel down? Okay. Dwarf fucking shorty? Um... I feel like I'm a cyborg and that's not my job. And cyborgs need to do their jobs. Androids need to do their jobs. I mean, it is just down there, though. Fuck, I can't- Oh, God, it died! Please, please, you gotta save my little girl! Oh, yeah. You're sending an android? All right, man. Fuck, he you knows. Go. You she can't knows. do that. I'm you, the best at what I do. Why aren't you sending a real person? They Don't have flaws, errors. Their emotions obfuscate their capacity for reason. Right, to consult your objectives? I don't give a shit. My men are ready to Why aren't any of these working? The right trigger's not working, dude. I guess I have to use mouse and keyboard? Find Captain Allen? Alright, I'm guessing that's Captain Allen. Alright. What's in here? Man, they really want. Alright! They really want me to talk to t Captain Allen. Alright, fine, I'll go do it. These guys have guns, man. Fucking Christ. Now you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman's man, no time to talk. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. My name is Connor. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. What's it, man? Um... Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Hmm. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Okay, good. Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. What a So I think you deal with this fucking android now. Or I'll take care of it. Probability of success? What in the fuck? Okay, um, shit. What's this? What's this? What's this? Alright, he's got a gun. What do I do here? Hold left click. Okay, nice. Okay, that's a big, uh, big thing there. Oh, okay, and, uh, what kind of ammunition we have here? Nice. 355, just what I thought. F to reconstruct. Yep. Alright, A and D. Yep, yep, okay. What's the, what's the D? Yep, all right, let's uh, assess this. Deviant took the father's gun. Okay, we probably could have figured that out. Tab it. Brain blast! 51% probability of success? All right, come on, can I run? How much time do I have? Do I have infinite time? What do we have here? What's on the ground? What kind of fucking music he listened to? He's like, fuck it, let her die. She's got shit taste. Push her. Fucking weird Brit pop. Spice Girls in 2040. We 
think I could info. No, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. Alright, what's in here? Let's look at. What was in there? Wait, did we just nope the fuck out of that? Alright, man. What the fuck camera angle is this shit? Is that a shotgun? No. How foolish of me. I play Call of Duty, I know all the guns. All units hold positions. The negotiator's going in. Oh wow, he he killed him. Holy shit. Alright. Sync collected, Ross Sinkato. Upper lung hemorrhage. Pneumatothorax. You hate to see that. What do we have here? Bullet wound, 355, left kidney. Well, we know what the 355 is. Alright, let's go ahead and check this out here. What do we have? 355 bullet wound. Who would have thought? Lower lung hemorrhage, internal bleeding. Alright, you really sharp for the lungs. Deceased. Phillips John. Estimated time of death, 729. Reconstruct, it's reconstruction time, boys. Oh, wow. Dog. Look at the fucking air he got on this bad boy. Look at the air he got on us. Yeah! Highest vertical he's ever jumped. My god. Is that all the first shot? Jesus Christ. Wow, wait. Just two? I thought there were multiple shots. Fuck! It's like he did a backflip. Wait, hold on. One, two, three. There we go. What did wh someone said? Wake what? All right, let's reconstruct. Father was holding something. He was playing fucking. He was playing Clash of Clans. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this shit? Is it here I'm supposed to assess? Like, what the fuck? Okay, there it is. Unlocked. We can unlock iPhones in this? Landmark decision. He raided the Android's base. Take, yeah, give me that shit. Been no shot. thanks you for your purchase. Dude was going for the lady model. For completely legitimate reasons. Unique unto this android. So android went nuts because it was a deal. Fuck. There was like love that he was feeling actively. That was the issue. Um, I can't I can't care about him. So the issue is when they start to experience some kind of, uh, you know, uh, you know, emotional connection of some kind, like he was to the daughter. I'm pretty sure I recall that from when uh, this game was super popular. Bullet wound, three feet. Okay, so probably the same guy. What do we have here? Deceased. Patrol officer a uh, Anthony Deckard. All right. All right, what do we have here? Gunshot resistor. All right. Okay. Um, hostage witnessed the shooting? Fuck. I mean, that's pretty brutal. Cop shot the deviant? Oh, wow, yeah, the blue splatter. All right. A lot of blood. Hold on. What happened right at the beginning here? Hold on. Gun. Weapon located. Hold on. I can grab the gun? Fuck. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do I want that thing? I'm ready right, you know what? Let's grab that just to be sure. Do 
Do I want to take this? Mm, Andrews are strictly forbidden. Put back. He's watching me. I can't fuck with that. Come on. Look at that. What are you looking it's time at? to cook. Don't stand there. I'm doing work, motherfucker. What are you doing? You are quite literally just standing there. 71% locate the hostage. No, thank you. I gotta watch the news. If confirmed, this would be the first case of an android deliberately taken human lives. Oh, fuck. That's not a good call. So this is like the downfall. It's been just over we are witnessing the implosion in real time. Okay. Let him cook. Look at him. Oh fuck, every second counts? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Family's about to have dinner. Okay, does that help me at all? Shit, dude, my probability of success is going down. What the fuck? Alright, blood, 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 blood. Shut up. I got shit to do. Yep. Android wounded. Got it. Okay, cool. How do I feel about tasting my own blood? 73. Okay, come on. What are we waiting shit. for? We should take down this asshole. Okay. Waiting for science. Child size shoe. Blood traces. Hostage could be wounded. Okay. And. Yeah, hold on. Oh. Seventy-five percent chance of success. Have I gotten everything I can out of this? I really don't know. I only have a seventy-five percent chance of success. I went into the girls' room and everything. Did I fuck something up? Shit. Oh, uh, is the game too loud? Non-lethal wound. He doesn't want to hurt. Actually, no. He's already killed multiple people. What the fuck am I thinking? I don't see anything else for me to get. Did I get it all? Did I get it all? Music's loud, okay. Okay, I think we got it all. I don't know what else there is. Let's go for it. What Jesus the fuck are you doing? Christ. Yeah, man. Chill the fuck out. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please! Wow. Don't you love this little, this little lady? Okay. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Yep, let's do this shit. What the fuck happened? Okay, we gotta gain his trust. Come on. Reassure hostage. Uh, reassure Daniel. Empathize. I'm an android. Just like you. I know how you're feeling. What difference does it make if you're an android? On their side. You can't understand how I'm feeling. Come on, yes I can. Possible cause. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. No, come on. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no. 
No, she's not. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? They thought I was part of the family. No, they're not going to do that. They thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. It is. I never wanted this. No, it's your fault. I love them. I you know. know. But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. Okay. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Yep. We got you. I believe in this. We got this. Go to the fucking grinder, big dog. There. I did what you wanted. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Yes. Yes! I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll yep, let her go. Yep, he's gonna get shot right in the fucking face. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. He's gonna get gonna fucking... Die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. He's Nothing dead. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. He's gonna fucking get killed. This, this okay. game is shit. I trust you. Oh, they're gonna fucking just cap his whole skull. <sighs> I'm sorry, man. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. Oh, fuck. Yeah, true cop move, man. Holy shit. <laughs> fuck, what is that shit, man? Also, like, what did the shooting even do? It seems like he's still alive. Yeah, remember, guys. Holy shit. Okay, wait. So you can, like, 100% this. Here's the scene's flowchart. Okay. Oh, shit. There are so many cool arcs, man. Fuck! Oh, man. I can... Dude... I want to redo it now. Cyberlife Inc. Again! Go again! Okay. The fuck's going on? This is the top of the range household assistant. Cooks 10, different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Oh, man, I'm like a pet in a pet shop? This is horrifying. Why don't we just make them obviously not human-looking to, you know, evade all of these potential conflicts, you know what I mean? Because this guy? Is this an android selling androids? Oh, they're so cheap for what they do. Look at that. Pre-owned for fucking 1.8? If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. Dude, the game I'm playing this on costs as much as some of these things. Or the computer I'm paying this on, it's fucking 3,000? Way better. My computer's way more expensive than that. Oh, fuck. That's not a good... This is... a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. This is fucking it was horrifying. Really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Oh fuck! Stupid accident. He's beating uh, the fuck out of these things. See. Anyway, 
It's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe it. This memory. dude smells like Tito's. Oh, I'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, <laughs> register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh, fuck. This dude is finding any way to get his hands on some extra Sudafed, if you feel me. More Sudafed, huh? Any reason? I recall part of this trick's narrative. Holy shit. This is a great game. I feel like I should be memeing it, but this looks so good. Now, I've watched someone play a lot of this game, actually. Someone I was living with during COVID. You look so good. Fuck it. Oh, baby. I hope you're doing well. Yo, big shout out to Afghans. Do androids have electric pussies? Hopefully, you mean like, let's call it the uh, the e-pussy. You know? That feels more agreeable. You know what I mean? Electric seems like it would be, like, shocking. You know? I do believe that they would make them fully, like, anatomically... Or did they Ken doll it? Are they Ken and Barbie? E-pussy probably feels better. Let's not look. I gave my treatise on this many moons ago when the Tesla bots were first discussed. I think that any kind of autonomous, you know, um, any autonomous, like, intuiting robot like cyborg that you fuck is going to absolutely erode the joy of sex elsewhere you know what i mean that's horrifying to me i am not on board i don't want anything to know my like like you know it's going to like assess strength of erection heart rate Everything is 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 going to be subject to interpretation, and it's going to learn exactly what turns you on most in a way that you may not be ready to meaningfully assess yourself. You know, it's not gonna. You can't do it, man. I'm not in. I I want good old fashioned human trial and error. The thing's gonna see through me in a way I'm not ready for. What's happening here? What up? Uh oh, hold on. I have to read Tech Addict. That's about e pussy, all right. VR MMORPG. Oh god, show me an isekai. Climate change up. How the environment is changing. Page one. Yeah, we can get into this. This can't be good for the environment. A recent U.S. census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather, America's one prosperous, once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. All right. You just got to start interpreting where you think the new waterfront property is going to be, you know? Fright flight. All right. So this is just doomer porn. We all know that this is an obvious fucking sham, right? To get you to not talk about the fucking pedophile cabals. You know what I mean? Fucking A. Yeah, climate's changing. Humans ain't doing it, man. Climate's been changed since climates are climates. The world's only a thousand years old. Birds are spies. Fucking Q sees you. You see Q. Fuck are you guys, man? You know what? Let's go investigate. Ah, oh, fine. All right. I'll do what you fucking want, man. Hey, water. Wow. And make it snappy. Androids are. Uh... I mean, look at how sick they are, man. 
if it weren't for if it weren't for humans essentially propping up and like propping up themselves with like code limitations, man, humans would be fucked. What's happening here? Android work ahead? Well. Why can't I look at anything? I wanna I wanna look at that. Did I already do it? What's going on here? Androids ruin our country, ban androids, we want jobs. See no, it's the plutocrats that are the problem, man. They aren't redistributing any of the wealth that they're uh, you know, gradually sequestering here. This is their fault, man. It's not ours. The problem is they're displacing jobs and not providing via extreme taxation nigh universal income. The problem is they don't have the dark matter chat. That's the real problem. They need that, you know? Alright, yo, what's up? White dudes are still playing fucking shit folk songs. In 2038, we're never getting away from it, man. They're still kumbayaing at fountains. Fuck are you? You guys really want jobs, or do you just want like a salary? Androids. We we need a ban. Androids. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they just want money. Like, I don't want fuck that job stuff, man. You guys just have your own vocation and do what you want to do. There's no reason to do this. Human music, one dollar to hear music with soul? Oh no. Yeah, but can you do it like you're Kanye West now? I want to hear the AI Kanye West version of that. Show me the AI Kanye cover. going on with this guy it was supposed to serve man but it is becoming our new master okay why do you look at me so demon hmm. i know who you are derek jeter I can see through you you are the one by whom the evil will come you are the one who will destroy detroit this is nick's mom talking to nick <laughs> After he doesn't call her for a week. <laughs> POV, Nick's mom's calling him Jason. <laughs> I kind of want to keep exploring, man. Jason ran inbound. Hold on, we didn't see enough of this area, man. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep exploring. Who's up with you? Alright, get out of my face. Without call. God will not let this happen. No. He will not allow his creation to be Fuck, man. It really wants me to go get this paint. Okay. I promise you, man. You could really be making the world better with this. They're, they're really discounting this. Okay. Okay.
Hold on. Am I seeing shit? This is supposed to be in base seven. Or am I missing shit? It's one of the two. Whatever, let's go to the paint. Maybe I go back to the guy playing guitar. I feel like I'm like not finishing this. Whatever, let's listen to this fucking guy for a minute. Kanye West. I'm gonna be real, man. It's it's the songwriting that's not hitting. You know what I mean? It's that it's not super inventive. You know? Collect package. Hold on. Where the fuck is this package, dog? Monday good? Can I go over here? Ladies and gentlemen, back to survive. Okay, can't cross that street. Okay. Um, what do you guys do up here? Can I check that out? No? Okay. Um... Dude, you want more androids. You want a harem of androids and no job, all right? Trust me. You are fighting for the wrong thing. You want more androids and some stimulus. You know what I mean? I don't think he gets it. You want a, you want a harem of fucking anime androids and no job and a lot of video games. Get yours today. Okay. Check these guys out. The fuck out of my face. Oh my god, more with this fucking paint shit, man. What's going on with you down here, man? I'm, I mean, how can I help you, dude? I'm gonna be real, man. I don't think I have money. I don't think they give me money. Okay, paint's not this way, got it. These fucking people, man. Okay. James and Carter. That's a thick boy. Dude's beefed the fuck up. That's a fucking defensive tackle. Alright, you know what? Let's just go into this fucking paint shop. What do you want from me? Okay, I guess we'll go up here. Connect. What do I have? Identification Forward. verified. What's up? I feel like we could have made these way cooler. Here's the fact that we went with human designs is such a fucking blunder. Please confirm okay. payment. I promise you, we're gonna have anime waifu cyborgs payment confirmed. before we ever have photorealistic ones. Transaction complete. <laughs> Weebs will be at the forefront of automation. Just as they have been most things, uh, tech and porn. What 
the fuck? Just take the bus home. Wow, he really cleared out, huh? Homeboy is done. Huh. Shut up. What are you doing? I have tape for you if you want that. Okay. Hmm. Go to this protest. Androids are stealing our jobs. Yeah. We yeah, yeah, yeah. tin can. Tin can. Like a school bully. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Jesus. Racist business mom and Pokimane there. this bastard a lesson what's the lesson he was made and programmed to buy paint you can take your job next Let's see how you like it okay. it's they're not the problem let's go on. he doesn't want a job he's just programmed for it I can't imagine this is like what he imagined life would be I don't know if he even had a vision for what life would be He's just some fucking dude. You know? How people don't see, like, fully automated workforces as, like, utopia is insane to me. Why am I looking at the lady? Hard work. AP 700. Housekeeping, babysitting, and cooking. Hard work for it. Free time for you. A fucked up way of putting it, but I get it. Good little shit that does as it's told. Fully automated luxury gay space communism is about as progressed as humanity could get, man. Oh Jesus, you are so boring. I mean, fuck, man, what else do I do? This is weight now. Okay. Where are the Femboy droids? We get to them. Okay. I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> are they in the back of the bus? Is that is that what they're doing? It's a little on the nose, but all right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> is he gonna is he gonna stand up for himself and say no? <laughs> Problems of fully automated utopia will only be utopia for the ritual. I mean, as it stands presently, yes. As it stands presently, a hundred percent. However, uh, you know, uh, with any any you know anything adjacent to like remotely equitable desk, like not even just redistribution, but just like I don't think here's the thing. I don't think we'll be able to create a fully automated workforce without first creating a populace educated enough to recognize the folly of present systems. You know what I mean? Look at this guy.
This dude is cooking meth, man. This is Sudafed Manifest. Uh, I think I'm good. I don't think I want to join him at all. Holy shit. You coming? I don't want to I don't want to join Todd, period. Todd is terrifying. Um guys, oh, shit, should we keep going? It is kind of good. Fuck. All right, let's keep going. Fuck it. Look, looking at this house and the fact that this dude returned an android model beaten to shit. A better place, North Corktown is where we're at. All right. Oh, fuck, dude. This dude's gonna f fuck our life up. Oh, man. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. You this take dude care has had a cyborg this entire time. He's brat had an android. Where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! And his house still looks oh, like this, man. Do they That's not Alice. paint and shit? Look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Cool. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Surprised he didn't go with a different moniker, you know? Like a daddy. Kind of seems like the guy, you know what I mean? Alright. Uh, urgent tasks. Fuck. Alright, I guess we'll do that. Take that. That's looking pretty, uh, brutal. Okay. Um... Dude. Maybe. We need to do a Detroit need. Become Human, uh, cleaning my car stream. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, I think we can change Todd, guys. What yeah. do you think? I'll bring it tomorrow. I think we can change him. Yeah, same place. You know, you know where. Nick's house is very clean. Right. Okay. TV now let's just. On. Never go back. Now what's going on here? Oh, wow. Mr. Todd Williams is in a bit of credit trouble, it seems. Overdrawn accounts. $347? I feel like... Oh, man. Tough go. All right. So this guy's really drowning... I'll die off due to influence. <laughs> yeah, average, average kick streamer. Just letting it all go. You know, POV got it twisted, man. POV got it twisted. Uh oh. Alright, let's get ourselves out there. To house. <laughs> Fuck, man. All right. What are my what are my tasks? Report to Todd. Uh, let's do some optional tasks. I don't want to deal with this fucking guy. Kid is hiding cuz dad's getting fucking mad. Dad's getting mad at his game. He did he bet on the fucking game? How much money does he have? All, all fucking tied up on stake.com right now. Wait, is he mething right now? Was I right? Does this dude actually know exactly how much Sudafed he needs to purchase week by week? Oh, wow. Alright.
Dishwasher not working. <sighs> Fuck. No, that's pretty based. That's cool as hell. Oh, wow. He's really ramping up. That's not a good thing. Yeah, let's get these things... Let's get these things clean, man. Looks just like puke. <laughs> what was that half-assed job, dude? Knows I love me, yes, indeed. Alice, yeah, we gotta fucking run. Manager and wife having to ignore this shit to not get beat up. And that was pretty much what marriage was up until, like, six years ago. <laughs> and we were like, you know what? Women can go to college. Bring me a cold beer. Yo, what up, Carmali? Welcome in. You know what? Fuck it. Let's let the lass have a crack at financial independence. And then everyone, uh... And then, and then the incel began. You know? This is, it's crazy how novel of a development this is. The thought of a woman who is not just like ensnared in whatever shitty marriage she agreed to at like 20. Oh wait, dude, homie's got a blowtorch? Yeah, he is crushing serious. What's he smoking? Oh, he's a hockey guy. It is Detroit. What are you looking at? JV hockey MVP, Nick Get Pollum. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Get enough. the fuck out of here. I'll get back to work. I don't know how you even thought that was like, like, why did I think that was a good idea? In no universe should I have ever considered that. Activate back clean, uh, vacuum cleaner. Hmm. I'm aware of what to do. All right. Hold on. Shut the fuck up. Dude's got a Roomba. Jesus Christ. All right. Cool. Well done, well done, well done. Turn on. Okay. Could have done that himself. Oh, fuck. He's not going to like this thing. Oh, fuck. What did I do? Okay, never mind. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. That dude... God, just this pensive gaze. Alice! You better stop that right now! It's the fucking vacuum cleaner, big dog. Why this is a, just an me? angry man. Pushing. Hey guys, remember, not even once. Do not gamble. Is this jump over the fence? Alright, um... I don't know what that was for, but... We have to lay of the land, I guess. This is a horrifyingly poignant vision of abuse. Like, truly. Dude, this dude is air has a cyborg and is air drying. There are misplaced funds all over the place here. I'm guessing the, the, the laundry machine also broke. Throw Alice right over the fucking... Throw her off. Get her get her the fuck out of here. Let's run. Ah, fuck it, dude. We gotta talk with Alice. What's going on here? Do your fucking homework. Why are you always pushing me? Aren't you going to school today? You look bored. Would you like to play a game? Oh. Bangs her head on the wall. Got it. All right. This game is called Count to 10,000. A 
feel like I should be able to report a crime uh, just like I ordered, uh, you know, fucking compartments for a wash for, uh, you know, the dishwasher, right? And this should be pretty open and shut. But again, we don't have the polymism panopticon component that, uh, you know, probably need. This is where, dude, Nick playing this the whole time would just be thinking, and here's the grinder, man. Oh, wow. It is meth. Got it. All right. Kind of. I mean, it's something. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. He's, he's she's doing the nervous. laundry, man. I'm sorry, Doc. You just stay the fuck out of my business, unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Okay. Just trying to hit that dude. Fucking. Just being stingy. Future meth, yeah. Instead of blue ice, it's red. Solid thought. Like the physics on that laundry detergent. <laughs> For such a detailed game, that's pretty bad, right? <laughs> All right, I guess we just talk with Todd now. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Yeah. No, I mean, this guy seems pretty grounded. I don't know what uh, what issue he could possibly have. See, he didn't even get mad. This game's not even realistic. Are you kidding me? You're telling Out me this... for fuck's sake! I take sorry, that back. Don't. It won't happen again. One-to-one -one abusive father. Very well done. <laughs> Just like home. Blocking Nick's hockey game? I know. That's a pretty toy. What's it? It's saying? just Nick watching his own high school highlights. <laughs> <laughs> just played it back. You're in the way, Melina. All sports. Ah, oh, we shouldn't be doing this. Should it be outlawed? Tell me, androids are competing. Connecting the dots. Are American senators really corrupt? China earthquake kills 10,000 people? Does this have any bearing on Subtube completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA? Fuck, that's sick. Oh, God, that's going to make me fucking nut, man. Imagine that. <laughs> High school hockey highlights on the first date. Just look at this. Look, do you know what a hat trick is? Do you know what a hat trick is when we went out? Okay. I wish you would have led with that, but whatever. We'll make it work. Um, <laughs> Let me ask you something. When I say gladiator, do you think Coliseum? What the fuck? Would I fuck an android? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Consenting one? Hell yeah. I don't know why I wouldn't. And it's third game of the season. Oh, wow. Android pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke 120 miles. I feel like it could go far, far, far harder, you know? Wasn't able to swing until the ball had already reached the catcher's glove. Well, this just seems like an obvious this wouldn't have been a thing, right? You know? Jenny Waterford, uh, head of fanzine Home Run, says sports fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sports is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine, yeah, I don't even feel like they would have gotten there. Surprised you're awake? Me too. I'm actually very tired, but I'm kind of enjoying the game. You know what I mean? All right, let's get let's get back out in front. Let's say fuck this guy. Oh, forbidden. Todd is watching. Okay. Let's go around. Fuck. They're really not going to let me do it again. Imagine. We could just kill him, man. If we could. I think the real shame is knowing that. Clean upstairs? Fuck. All right. 
Dude, this is a lot of chores, all right? Tidy Alice's room. <sighs> fucking Christ, what's up with these fucking guitar players? Android QB? Android quarterback, slam dunk, basketball star Gary Gibbons interview? All right. All these fucking, you know, c contemptuous guitar players. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players with top-tier games still an exclusively human affair. Yeah, I don't even see why this would even be in question. It's like, even in the event that it was perfectly mediocre, it was, like, designed to be that. It's not even interesting, you know? How's it going to have a breakout performance when everything is so... Stop yawning. I'm tired, dog. Tech addict, the price of life, how driverless vehicles make... Dude, if you're telling me that we make it here and have driverless vehicles instead of just fucking sick trains, I don't want this future. I'm out. This is the darkest fucking timeline, man. Dude's listening to vinyl. Textbook male manipulator. It's all Tame Impala in the 1975. Just crushing it. Dude only has Creed on vinyl. Okay. Probably a good point. Um, all right, let's make his bed. Can you take me higher? Boo -doo 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 -doo. To a place where blind mouths see. Wow, this guy's really pounding. Oh, fuck. Don't drop anything, man. Don't you fuck this up, Alice. Did your body feel any side effects? No. Body feels pristine. I actually feel really good. Not from the food necessarily, but I'm glad we uh, I'm glad we did it, you know. And now to sports. First up. I feel like I shouldn't be looking at this man. As the gears prepare for the critical match with Denver. <laughs> Animation's gotten worse. Hmm. No, it was awesome being on Nick Street, man. I had a lot of fun with him. Him and Melina are great guests. Okay. All right, you know exactly what has to be done. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new cyber life plant near Milwaukee. At the event, time to redistribute. Cyber life's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. Okay. She further announced that the Department of Defense. All right, we're out of here. All right. Ventilate. <laughs> Let's get the meth out. The fuck is that? Dude, I'm doing it. Oh, nice. Both. Got it. Man, more bills? Holy shit. Oh, God. What do we have here? Oh, that's you. Shit, that's you, isn't it? That's your model. Right? Okay. Well, I guess that's all done. Watch it. I wasn't really in the way, but you know. Wonder what he just did. What kind of damage? This dude shits out of control. Like you already know it. Wow, right into the poo. The meth shit. Oh god, alright. 
Fuck it, let's clean the bathroom. Mr. Pooh, man. All Mr. Pooh in this bitch. Alright, tidy that. Alright. Got it. Alright, what do we have here? Mopping floors. Okay, um... No self-cleaning toilets? This feature makes no sense. They just had to create work for the androids so they could have exact power over something. This isn't about efficiency at all. Uh, I just like a good cleaning sim. Fuck, I just dude. Tidy your room a I don't it's just, minutes. like, Is such, like, borderline irreparable damage. Like, the amount of fucking therapy required. Allison Can they just patch room. therapist notes into her, you know? Of course. All right, of course, yeah. This is a wonderland. Yo, what up, Aruz? Oh God, we're just going through our private shit. The fuck am I stepping over? What do we have here? Okay. Seems you like reading. Fucking nerd. <laughs> oh, is the real world a little too tough? <laughs> yeah, she's got her red ice under the pillow. Okay. Oh, why? Uh-oh. I don't like that I unlocked <laughs> a ledge. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't uh, come to that. <laughs> um, let's go with friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. <laughs> I think that went horribly wrong. <laughs> your father Where's your fucking you mom? Me. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help Fucking me. punch him. What about your mom? What about your mother? <laughs> Will she be home soon? It's gotta be the worst question. I knew that that was gonna be dumb. <laughs> Does she give it to me if I don't lose points with her? Could that somehow work out? Alright, let's fucking check this shit out. Yeah, let's get in there. This is her stash, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Todd really lost it, huh? Luck isn't real. Yeah, what up, Bonzo? Fuck, Todd looks like a monster in every shot. Todd has a note in there that says, I will never do meth. No matter how bad it <laughs> Fuck. He's in like a fucking Slavic jumpsuit, tracksuit. Oh, wow, you get to learn what happened. Buckle up. You shoot. You fell, and they had to fix your parts. Maybe protect her secret. Oh, 
Holy shit, man. Does this thing auto-save, by the way, or do I have to be saving as I go? Sure does. All right. I think I'm going to call it on this one here. If I could figure out how to do it, because I am getting tired. Um, but I do want to keep doing it. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, is there like, do I need to keep going for something? Finish scene? Okay. Fine, 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 fine. All right. I'll finish the scene. What are you doing? <laughs> fuck. Uh, I'm this is brutal, man. Like, this is like a, this is a dark, encumbering environment to deal life. with. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. No, Don't you didn't... think I tried to make things work? She just wants to play with her fox. Whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! He's doing a lot of math, man. God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is an addict, man. It's devastating. You know I love you, don't you? Corpse you know you. Just an addict, man. All right, well, what a fun way to end the night. Glad we finished the scene, guys. I I'll always feel bad for an addict, man. I think addicts are devastating. Wow, we fucking got everything? Holy shit. Okay. I believe that all addicts are, are in many ways, uh, you know, victims of their own neurochemistry and the shit that's befallen them. Um, and I will always encourage people to suspend judgment until after um, we, uh, you know, bring people back to a sort of stasis, you know, return to a kind of stability. Um, hmm. All right, let's think. Dude, I had a lot of fun with that. That was a great game. Do we want to go? Hmm. All right. Do you guys want to watch Will Neff play Resident Evil 4 or Grayson play League of Legends? One for Will, two for Grayson. Read Caroline? Oh, yeah, let's read Caroline. We can do that. Is Caroline still playing? Yeah, Caroline, Caroline can go with the boost. All right, guys, I had fun, man. Thank you guys for the great streams, as always. That was a good fucking... That was just always a blast, man. Always a blast. And hold on. Don't think I forgot, chat. Don't think I forgot.